Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. Yeah, yeah, what's good, yo? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpio, the New England representer. And as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, yo, what it do, yo? You know who this is? LB, Lauderdale boss. Oh, wait, nope. <laughs> nope. That ain't him. <laughs> He's not here with us. You know, it's your boy, King People. They can people. They can box in the building. Ring Gang Radio all day. Let's go. Hey, yo, who's um, banned from the bodega? Okay, who's banned? Okay, I got a couple people that are banned. So, you motherfuckers that are giving these horrible recommendations for motherfucking Keith Lee to come in and critique our food, like y'all is y'all are wild with these, you know, with these recommendations and all this shit. Like y'all gotta get it together. Bro, who the fuck is food. Keith Lee, nigga? I don't know who that nigga is. He's a he's a food critic. He go uh, people when he goes to people's cities. And goes to certain uh, establishments and reviews their f- the, their food and the how the establishment. Yeah, so popular. Yeah, Remember, what's his credentials? He's a former UFC. He's, he's very popular. popular. He's a former. He's a former, he's a former, well, he's a former well, he, he's the UFC. He's a former fighter. Yeah, man, um, man. he's a former fighter, a UFC fighter or MMA. Well, what the fuck they gotta do with taste buds? <laughs> I mean, he knows because when you're when you're training, you're going through a, a diet and a regimen, so he knows good food and what's not good food. So he has that cap. in his system. And then um, that's not really cat, but but you know, no, that's not a reason for a nigga to be a food critic. He yeah, used to like, fight no, me. <laughs> He got a lot of clout right now. He got a lot of clout. But people were fucking with his shit. So they, when they, whenever he would review someone's business, they would if they got good reviews, their their uh, establishments would get flooded, and people would just go and see what it was about. And he's actually saved a lot of businesses that were like this close to going under, and then all of a sudden, after Keith Lee reviewed their stuff, they started. You know, getting good business, and now they're they're back afloat. So I gotta give Keith Lee his props for that. But y'all be giving him the worst recommendation. I seen someone recommend him a spot that gave him the most struggle bacon, egg, and cheese I've ever seen. Like y'all gotta get it together. Yeah, I saw that I, 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 I saw that picture because I, I said, "God damn, this shit looks dry." And, and I don't even fuck with pork, but I was like, even I, even if I did, I wouldn't even eat that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, like like that was the worst ba- the worst piece of bacon I seen. Uh, there was no salt, no pepper, no ketchup, no nothing. But yeah, so y'all gonna get bacon? Wait, you put ketchup on a bacon, egg, and cheese? Yeah, salt, ba- bacon, egg, and cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup. That that's how it is. That shit is disgusting. So the toasted <laughs> with uh, toasted <laughs> bacon, ketchup on eggs. Roll, what the fuck? Roll, crispy bacon. Yes, salt, pepper, ketchup. It is what it is. Anyways, also, who's also banned is some of, y'all, some of y'all motherfuckers that be on some bullshit that's uh, with this Amazon deal, and y'all are saying a lot of cold words that I'm not liking, and y'all really showing y'all true colors. So, y'all yeah, out of here, too. Remember that Juneteenth, that Juneteenth comment, huh? Yeah, I was like, uh, it, 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 I was was like what the fuck was that all about? But we'll, we'll get into that a little yeah, bit yeah, more. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, that, that is big news, but we'll get we'll get more into that in a little bit. And any, any anything anyone else that gets in this get banned uh, P? No, that's it. That's it. Word, word, word. Yeah, because like I said, you know, there was some there was some violent ass motherfuckers today, and you know this week though. But yo, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Hey, what's really fly? It's Conscious Pilot, the West Coast Avenger, number one contender, preparing for Ring Gang Radio. Let's fly, prom prom time, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> yes, sir. You know. Um, you know, pilot stays elevated above the clouds and shit like that, and remixing. And last but certainly not least, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Yo, what's good? You already know who the fuck it is. It's your boy, Room Top Five, nigga. I'm out here getting to these bucks like Tyrese Halliburton, nigga. <laughs> fuck you, man. Bars. We out here working. Yes, sir. You know, Room Top Five, aka Chicago, because he leaves these niggas in the breeze and shit. And uh, yeah, man, it's good to have him there. And uh, you know, brother Shutterworth, you know, he's a little bit under the weather right now, so he may or may not join uh, tonight. Although I told him, like, you know, he you know prioritize your health, man. You know, like 
stay, you know, stay in the dark, yo, and you know, handle your, you know, handle your business and whatnot. So you know what it, you know what it is in Florida right now. It's like fifty four degrees, and niggas start acting up when it gets under sixteen, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't know, they don't know how to survive. I went to the public and seen a nigga with a bubble coat on. It's fucking 55 degrees, nigga. If you don't show your ass out. Nigga, 54 degrees is like that shit that shit feel like heaven right now. It's like it's like 17 degrees around here. Shit. Wait, well, we can't even see your breath in this weather and these niggas got on bubble coats. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's different. It just bees like that, I guess, in Florida. Like, I mean, because, I mean, you've experienced the winter before, you know. I don't think this nigga LB has. So it's like, you know, like a like a real winter. Like, if he, if he, if no, I don't think that nigga, that nigga's never seen snow. He said he don't need to see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, give it some time, you know, fucking, you know, uh, you know, the ozone layer keeps depleting, you know, weather gets all screwy. Like, yo, y'all, y'all will get a foot of snow at some point in, in your lifetimes in Florida. <laughs> real shit. You know, saying, but um, yeah, man, we, you know, you know, last week, you know, I know most people were asking, you know, where we were, but you know, I think it was just one of those days where just all of us had like some, you know, shit, some shit going on or whatever. So we was just doing some other shit though. But we were just like, yo, we got, we, you know, tonight though, we we got things to rant about, and there's a lot, of, you know, there's a good amount of stuff to rant about. Starting with the biggest news that we got today, um, the future of one premier boxing champions, aka PBC. So they announced this morning that they did strike a deal with Amazon Prime, you know, and debuting in March of 2024, you know, we're going to get, well, I think, 14 shows, pay-per-views and non-pay-per-views and, you know, the type of shit that we see if you if you watch NFL on, on Prime and shit like that. So it's like, you know, this is, and, you know, and, you know, it's exciting, you know, because it's like, you know, everyone was like, where are they going to go after this? Because obviously Showtime is closing, you know, closing their doors on boxing. Uh, it's crazy. Because out of all of the ones that we guess, we never guess Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> no, speak, for your, speak for yourself. I did. I, they were saying it for a minute. I was like, that's actually a, a good uh, place. That was the best option for me. That was, that was the best option that was for me. The best option. It really was the best option. Yeah. When you consider everything, like... And because I, I, I'll say this, Pat, because I know Pat was like anybody that's now like because, you know, people were like, oh, well, I uh, get it out of app, yada, yada, like with other promotions and other like with the zone. Oh, why would you have your your, uh, you know, all your boxing on an app? And I, I, I get I get Pat's point and all of that. But like the consistency. But like this is like Amazon's one of the big tech companies. It's one of the biggest subscriptions in the everybody has Amazon Prime. Like they're in everyone's home. They are like four million homes, and like, like you know, at least, like like everybody. I mean, I don't know. Everybody family has to have the you know where they, the Amazon Prime where they deliver shit the same day type thing. I mean, Amazon has become an everyday fabric of our life. Because I I don't know about you. I know I know Pat has an Amazon Prime. I have an Amazon Prime. I don't know about you, Rome, but like everybody has it. Yeah, I got Amazon Prime, and I use that shit for Thursday night football, man. That's what, that's <laughs> what I'm this was an this was an excellent choice when you consider the availability. Like, because yeah. basically, like, basically you know, what they said, they're like, we go since niggas is not fucking with boxing like that, we gonna bring it to niggas. Yeah, no. Well, I, the, I, the I, thing I, is that like being on being yeah. on Amazon Prime actually helps. Like, I feel like that might be a way to get more names and like more people to, to pay attention to more names because now they're going to be seeing all these names like everybody's on amazon prime so they could promote it they could put like it, it's it's going to be interesting to see how this how this comes out especially if they're if they said they're only like 12 to 14 fights this year like of cards and if they're all stacked up that's great yeah, because 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 one thing that Amazon is not going to do that Showtime did is they're, they're not going to let PBC get away with some you know some matchmaking issues like ain't gonna be no um just jobber festivals or some random ass bullshit ass card like you know if, if they're giving them if giving them that many shows like you got you got show and prove like the, the quality has to be high you know it's like i mean it, it, it has to be higher than fucking nfl's thursday night football on prime nigga like that type of high like that's me no, tell me about it <laughs> you know what i'm saying like and and, and 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 that only raises the other question too. The only other question I have about the deal is, 
with that amount of shows, like, I mean, PBC does have a sizable roster. It's like, are, does Al have another network in store or whatever? Because, like I said, because I, I, I mean, I don't know nothing about nothing, but there are rumblings that because they even talked about like the possibility of because I don't know if you remember this, Pat, but I remember there was reports about the possibility of also a Netflix deal. Yeah, so there yeah. might be something more in the this, in the tank besides the Amazon. There's a strong rumor and Netflix might, you know, like they might have a secondary thing. Like I'm hoping there is because they need they need a show box. They need guys like, you know, their second guys that aren't paper free headliners but are basically, you know, you, you know, the shows on Triple Headers were the shit. You know what I'm saying? We, we need that kind of at least like a, whether it be a pro box or like a non pay per view shows, you know what I'm saying? With guys that need a you know, like Brandon Lee, and Gary Antoine Russell, those kind of guys. Yeah, no, you, you know, you absolutely, yeah, because box, because yeah, because that's the that's the only thing. I, I mean, the zone is actually doing its part because it has like three different types of these type of shows where you get like where you actually get Maybe. that type of level of uh, fighters, and and they're pretty fucking good too. On top of that, yeah, they have high level. The high level, basically, they have high level club cards where you see like like last week they had Jaleel Hack, they had some of the the some of the Floyd, you know, some of those PBC guys. Um, on the Red Owl box, and they had that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and what what what, what PBC had in the past was, you know, obviously the P, they had cards on FS1, you know, as like you know their show for those type of fighters. And obviously, they, I mean, it would be good if they get not only just uh, another another platform for so type of fighters, but like a consistent show they could actually showcase those fighters. You know, because I mean, I mean, personally, I thought it was just Amazon. Amazon would just handle everything because Amazon. Amazon, you know, has a large market cap. Like Amazon is one is pretty much the biggest fucking company in the world. Maybe or a second next to Walmart. Whoever, I, I don't. Know. The, the 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 billionaires they trade off, man. It's either Walmart. And, and Amazon's or like the third biggest tech company out there. So yeah, so yeah, so that's why I'm thinking myself like I was like I, I was thinking like this is just put everything on Prime. But hey, you know, it might be just another. You know, if just it's just one deal, it may be another deal. But yeah. But I mean, either way, I'm. I mean, I, I fuck with it because, like I said, man, like I go back to the days of watching fucking German boxing cards on Real Player back in the day. So to see the evolution from doing that, you know, in f- fucking watching shit in 14.4 quality, which is like, which is uh, which is mad pixelated to, you know, now I'm paying to watch boxing on four different platforms. That shit, that shit is a mind fuck to me in a way. That's fucking evolution right there, like. Finally, the boxing is catching up to the streaming after years of years of illegal streams and some legal ones, but largely illegal streams. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm, not gonna I'm not gonna mince fucking words like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is illegal streams, bro. <laughs> That's, I mean, shout out to Justin. Rest in peace, Justin TV. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. I just want to go to the comments because I see the, the, the from comments. Uh, Anthony Manzano salute. He's spamming the chat with some good stuff. I I predicted that Amazon was gonna sign. PBC was going to sign with Amazon. I didn't expect them to finish this contract this year. I thought that was going to be down the road. And I bet he has a stipulation in the contract talk about Bezos for Heyman in that in order to put on fights on pay-per-view, it's, it's five. Say, you know, they're going to make a big return. The rest of the fights are going to be on Amazon Prime. Crazy prediction. Once the contracts are done, Golden Boy and top ranked ESPN. I think Amazon gets those two promotions. Bezos has partnerships with NBC, ABC. Marquise, what up, Marquise? That this AM was comedy. Yeah, the real one shit was awful at times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he knows. And let's say Amazon brings back Tuesday night fight, Thursday night fight, and Friday night fights. Which day would you guys want to be focused more on the prospects, and what would you call the show on that day? I mean, it no can idea. Happen. I mean, it could be on any fucking day. I mean, I mean, I, I still remember watching Tuesday night fights, Thursday night fights, Friday night fights. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, there's still like pro box, like so, like pro box is on Wednesdays. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and, I, and I know, I mean, there's club, there's like high level club cards up the week. But if I had to pick a day, it'd be Friday, and I would just call like I don't know, PBC on Prime or something. I don't know, just have yeah, like, uh, like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's cool. PBC on yeah, PBC. exactly. On Friday, like on a Friday for the Friday regular cards, you know. Like, so, salute to Android. Big news today. Miss 702, shout out to Miss 702. Where's Shutterworth? He's under the weather, so he's not here. Salute Don John's daughter, Ring Gang. Salute to the cool. Salute to John's daughter. Yeah, the hate is real, Android. It's it, crazy it, it, how much hate people racist, get. Racism. Uh, Just be real. The racism. People, people, yeah, it's a lot of bullshit. 
Like, yeah, there's, there's a, I mean, I, I'm like, God damn, like, I mean, everyone know PPC was looking for a platform. Like, I mean, I, I mean, myself, like, I mean, I've said there's some, there's a lot of things about PPC that I disagree with, but even I was like, yo, let them actually the, the, like, announce what they're going to do. Like, and, and, and the, but people were just kind of mad. I'm like, yo, they're on a streaming platform. Like, I mean, like, like I said, like, like he mentioned before, the only other thing, the only other thing about that was just, Keep, you know, just making sure, you know, just checking people who are like, well, Boxer doesn't belong on the app because of biases that they had. And, you know, uh, and those are people I've been checking left and right. But if you've been watching boxing on the apps, like, and it's just, okay, it's just a natural progression. It's just like, this is cool. But some of these motherfuckers were on, like, you know, with some, on some next shit, like, like racist shit, like real racist shit. I'm well, like, see, I mean, they always feel that way. You know, the like PBC is just a cold word for the hard N word. You know what I'm saying? Like, some, like, it seems like I'm on, on boxing Twitter, like, oh, the PBC, you know, like, I hear people call it Wakanda. It's like some st- stupid racist shit. But yeah, that, and then, and that stupid tweet with, uh, about the Juneteenth shit. Like, the Juneteenth like, shit. Wait, what the fuck? What, what is the correlation between PBC and niggas? No, like they're, they're calling PBC the, the the you know they they look at PBC as the black network. Yeah, the network it's like the black. it's like the BET of boxing. That's yeah, fucked kinda, up. Kind of, kind of. I mean, like basically, like you know, like there's a lot like re- boxing. Boxing Twitter is super racist, and, and I'm not. I mean, wait. So so who do niggas? So, well, who who do white folks love? Golden hold Boy on, and hold shit. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on, Rome. I'm gonna read you the tweet. This is what the tweet said that that we're talking about. This guy named Kenny Keith of the Boxing Rant, fucking clown, said oh, yeah. PBC religious zealots celebrating a pay-per-view distribution deal is peak boxing comedy. I always wondered who bought the Juneteenth decorations at Party City. I'm just like, what? <laughs> what? I was like, what? I was like, God damn. I was like, who hurt you, bro? Like, it's a white dude. No, it's a white dude. Even, yeah, yeah, it's a white dude. Even, and even other white people are calling, like, Lou DiBello is calling him out on it. He's like, what the fuck are you referencing? What does Juneteenth have to do with any of this? Yeah, like, yeah. who shouldn't be white talking about Juneteenth? But there's a section Juneteenth of boxing that just hate, they, they just hate everything PBC. The Rick Glazer cult and, like, Montero and uh, Steve Kim. This is just those guys that just hate anything PBC does. They'll, they'll never give it. And it I, I don't know. It's just kind of, I'll watch it all. But I'm just saying, I know there's, like, certain fans that, a loyalty to the brand, which is ruining boxing, but I don't, I don't yeah, no, they they hate PBC. And so what do, what do they love? Uh, man? What do they love? They don't watch PBC. I'm sure they watch all the PBC shit, but everything else but PBC. Yeah, but but they'll say, oh yeah, top rank does it the right way, or you know Eddie, or you know Matt True and the Golden Boy. I don't like you know the, everybody else. You know they'll, they'll give props to everybody else except the I, I watch. I, I, it's just it's just crazy to me because like like I watch we watch all the platforms like I don't care what promotion it is as you're putting on good fights I'm gonna or like fights that that's what I'm saying fight. that's why I didn't even understand the whole PBC's the BET of shit because I thought everything was connected I thought these niggas all rock with each other trying to get the best fight no I mean there's a lot of politics to go into that that. that you know they wanted them to work together. Some one of the guys was on was on Twitter. Who's like, man, I wanted them to go to uh, the zone so that they could all be under the same umbrella. You know, what I'm saying? but I'm like, what's that going to do? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But they're they're going to be all under the same umbrella. But there's no guarantee that you could still because the the thing was, well, if you get them all on the zone, then they can't say, oh well, he's on that side of the street. They're all on the same platform, so there's no excuse for them to not work together, even right. though. Uh, even though Matchroom and Golden Boy are on uh, the zone, they're on the same platform, and they don't work together like that. So that's not even that's not even really a good uh, example because they don't work together. They're, just because they're on the same promotion, they're on the same uh, distribution company, the zone doesn't mean they're all gonna work together. So that's a, that's a faulty logic there. But yeah, I let I let them say what. Yeah, they and want. plus, the zone would have been you know twenty five bucks a month now. It'd probably be forty bucks a month if PBC was there. So like. <laughs> I mean, in, in, uh, Alexa, I still have my I still have my DAZN subscription, so yeah, I I, I could definitely see it. if PBC didn't go on to there. Uh, oh, oh, although of course, you know, I'd be like, you know, the like the motherfuckers who, who don't who hate the zone and they're just as they're very vocal about that too. I mean, Android himself is one of the motherfuckers, you know. So it's like, you know, I, I need to go when it comes to that. He be, he be checking heads on there. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker does not like the zone. I don't know why niggas hate the zone. I thought it was like a good network to see boxing on. Oh, I thought it was good. It's cool, it's cool, but it's like it has its it has its issues. I don't know it's for anything. I don't know the zone for anything else but boxing. 
Yeah. I mean, it doesn't do something for me. Like, it's it's all for boxing for me. Like, and like and like and and I get I get my money's worth on it because they because they do do their part. But uh, like I said, it's just it's something. Some it's either like I mean, I know people have issues with like like the type the speed that they get from the zone or the quality. Yeah, I I always have when I had the zone, I was having a lot of issues with it because I would I would put on my smart TV and like. Even when I would be streaming it, and the the stream would just cr- just crap out on me, like out of nowhere, and I'm just like, "What's going on?" Like there was a lot, and this like the production. There were some things that I just did not like about the zone. So I mean, I, it is it moments. It has it great fights. Just great fights on the zone, you know. I'm no, like, they they put on some good fights, but I felt like the the production quality a lot of times was left a lot to be desired. So I understand what Android is saying, but. You know, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to shit on the zone because they have their purpose and they do what they do. And it's overall still good. All of it is still good for boxing. So, right. But like I said, like the people, people have loyalties to certain platforms. Like people have loyalties to zone and hate PBC. People have loyalties to PBC and hate the zone. Like it, 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 they're, they're, it, it people, people like, like, like top rank and don't like any or like it, 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 it it's all over in, you know, in, the realm of boxing fandom <laughs> it's all no, i mean like okay i mean like i will i stopped watching boxing like a, a little bit like at, in the mid 2000s when did when did the peep when did the whole like standing a platform thing actually start pat i mean like or king p like when did it actually i mean it's kind con- no, honestly it's been around i started noticing it in the late in the early 2010s because like you had HBO and Showtime, and, and, and some people were Team HBO, and some people were Team Showtime, and like that was kind of annoying. But now it's just it's gotten to a, a higher level than that. It got It was more basic because HBO was like HBO was kind of synonymous, synonymous with boxing, like you know, like high level, like the high profile boxing that most people like to watch, you know, on pay per views and shit like that. And Showtime didn't really have that type of. I mean, Showtime was like the underground for boxing. Like you get you get the real hardcore phase and shit like that. But HBO, but HBO was like the glitz and the glamour that type of shit. So yeah, people people had their. But I think I mean, truthfully, it probably got a little bit worse. It, it starting with the whole when Floyd left HBO to go to Showtime. That's when it really kind of upticked. Like oh, that's a, that's a good point. Yeah, when Floyd switched. From, and that was in yeah. that was in 2013 when he when he went to Showtime. And then Bruno, I'm not like and, and that was always stupid to me. I'm not. I don't care. He got him. He got you know a, a, a good paycheck from Showtime. It is what it is. I don't blame him for it. I would still watch both of them. It was just. It was very silly. The uh, the amount of tribalism that came from it. And yeah, that yeah, was just, yeah. And, and, with, you know, and Broner, you know, Broner kind of helped with Showtime become, you know, like, just like, you know, because just be real, Showtime PBC has more of the black vibe to it, you know, it's true, it is what it is, but, you know, like Broner being flashing and dancing, that kind of probably hate, made white people and the people that hate niggas just super, like, <laughs> you know I mean, like, honestly, a whole fucking study can be done on how, tri- how, how, how tribalism kind of, like, how got into boxing like that like i mean because it, it, it gave rise to a lot of online shit too like you know like of course like the ldbc and then other things too because it's it's a it's a lot of it, it's it, 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 it's it has a whole history <laughs> you know but um but yeah no um but with pbc though like i said i, I mean i personally i'm excited to see what they're gonna do with it like like I said, because I know, I mean, honestly, even though Thursday night football kind of stinks because the NFL, for whatever reason, can't make a fucking decent games on Thursday nights. But at least with Prime, you get a lot of the extra shit. Like you get the Manning brothers. You get you get all this, like, you know, you get all these angles and shit like that. So I, like the mics and shit like that. So I fuck with it. So yeah. the, only, I, the only thing is, I just hope there are no fucking commercials. Like, I want to hear, like, if they're in the corner, I want to hear a conversation in the fucking corner. Like, yeah. I mean, there'll be ads, but I, I'm just hoping, I know there'll be pick review and shout, you know, obviously Tank Davis is, he was like the face of it. He's on the pictures and then in front of the center. But, I, um, you know, shouts out there. But I just hope we get, I, I just hope we get regular shows like Showbox level slash, you know, just like, Regular triple head, you know, cards that uh, give you know, kind of get these guys to a level where they can eventually headline pay per views. You know what I'm saying? Like guys that, that, that you know. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. Now, and, and again, I mean, again, I mean, I'm not really overly, you know, 
uh, happy about the pay-per-view aspect. Because, but then it's, it's like, you know, the zone has pay-per-view. Top Rank has pay-per-views. Well, Top Rank doesn't have pay-per-views, but when they do, it's just like, you know, per- personally, it's, it's like, and I know that it's like new and I understand because, you know, boxers, you know, promoters have, have to pay these boxers and boxing has gone so much, uh, boxing salaries and purses have gone, have gone up so much. <laughs> I had a person. I knew there was a way. I knew there was a way they was gonna make money off this shit. Well, so if you got an Amazon Prime deal, you still gotta pay for the fights. On top uh, of that, well, uh, Pat, we, we gotta see how the pay per view system all shakes out on uh, on Amazon. Prime. That'll be some bullshit. That'll be some bullshit. That won't even be worth it. I'll just wait and see how it turns out because I don't know how it's gonna work. But I mean, it, 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 ain't no way y'all niggas gonna charge me eighteen dollars a month and then charge me ten dollars on Friday to watch a fight. Like, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Nigga, you you probably wish it was probably be ten bucks, nigga. I'm pretty sure the pay per views ain't gonna be no damn ten bucks, nigga. Like, I mean, are they? Yeah, they, I mean, if they fight every week on, if they fight every week on prawn on Fridays and shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll probably be part of the subscription, but I think it's just the pay per view stuff because, I mean, what I mean, I, I mean, what they do on, on Prime right now because I know they have like the early access shit, like you know the movie right. in the movie theater, like you gotta pay to buy or rent them and shit like that. I'm pretty sure that's I'm pretty sure that's how that's going to work. Trash. And, and, and niggas, George, niggas is trying to find a way to make the most money in a month. Like niggas don't even fuck about yearly output anymore. They just trying to. How much can we get in subscriptions in a month? Charge them, niggas. Charge them. <laughs> and, uh, Andrew, uh, Android in the comments. Pat, I've been giving them them being the zone pronouns, pal. Props for the promo. Yeah, no, uh, I, I, I see Android, do. but I, I, I know I, I know you've been going hard on PBC. I, I, I saw you giving them, giving them props. That's all we've given for this, though. <laughs> you know, they're up there. Marquise, bro. <laughs> Marquise said, no more Omar Figueroa fights. I saw Ugas fight. I saw Ugas fights on Bounce Network. Yeah, I remember Bounce. Bounce was a good... That's interview. crazy. That nigga was fighting on Bounce. Nigga, that's yeah, why I watched yeah, Martin. They were on Spike, right? They were on Spike, yeah, they on Spike. Yeah, they were on Spike, too. Yeah, they were on Spike, too. Yeah, they were on Spike. Nigga, I watched watch Martin and, and the Parkers on Bounce. I ain't know yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, and low-key, though, Bounce... The you know, PBC on Bounce had some real fades, though, but they were like... They were like the... the I won't say they weren't jobbers, but it was like a good little... Um, you know, I mean, there were some there were some title changes on that shit. Like, you know, I know Tony Harrison fought on that shit too. Like, all like the, they they had some up and comers fight on Bounce. Like Bounce was the only thing that sucked about watching it on Bounce was Bounce was in um, standard def on my on my on my cable system. You know, it, it was no it was on no HD. So you know, I had to I, I had to take it back to the nineties when I was every time I watched uh, yeah, uh, three twenty p, but. Yeah, exactly, nigga. <laughs> 480 yeah, shit. Nigga. Is, um, yeah. I'm excited. Up. I'm just hoping, like, I hope the first card's not in March because, you know, I mean, they said it starts in March. I'm hoping there's something before that from BBC. Yeah, so. no, they said no, it's starting in March. So. It's March, yeah. Like, this, this must be three cards because I, I know someone keeps posting uh, when um, the promoter behind PBC, TGB, Tom Brown, when, when they basically do holds on, you know, on venues and shit like that. So they got three of they got three of them on hold in March. Two of them are pay per views. Don't know which ones. Us we'll we'll know which well, ones. One of them is probably one of them is going to be Tank. Um, I know Coppinger was trying to be like, oh well, Tank will probably headline the first. Tank will headline the first uh, Amazon Prime pay per view. You don't know that. He's just guessing, just like we are. He's making shit up. I, I you can't. Well, if he better, he can keep knocking niggas out and chilling for ten months. Like nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> And you do assume it's Tank versus Pitbull. I hope it's Frank, but Frank Martin. But you know, most assume Tank because Tank is kind of the face of you know. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's it, one of them's one of them's probably gonna be Tank. The other one, it, although it's not gonna be pay per view, I'm pretty sure the the is probably gonna be Tim Zhu, and then maybe the other one might be Crawford Spence too. Like the, yeah, the, yeah, Tim Zhu because Lubin moved up in the rankings, so it's probably Tim Zhu Lubin will headline a regular show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be pay per view in Australia, not in America. So that's yeah, not yeah, yeah. Like a regular it's show. It's gonna be free here. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm, I'm guessing those are probably gonna be the first three cards. Mm. You know, that's not bad. I mean, shit. I mean, I don't want, I don't want the pit rematch, but whatever. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not. I, I mean, I don't really care about no Crawford Spence too. Like Spence. No, I don't like, want to see that either. I, yeah, I want to see Crawford. I, see that I, want see Crawford. I, don't, I don't want Crawford. I don't want Crawford to fight Canelo. Hey, I, heard, I heard Spence been working. 
No, he, I think he finds God in the Bible. <laughs> no, that thing is that thing is that thing is that thing is true. Like, no, 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 nah. no. Offered me in the gym nonstop. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Spence, I think supposedly got back into it just now. But he's he ain't been in the gym for a few months. Derek James went in an interview, and Derek James was like. Yeah, he hasn't been back. <laughs> like he said, like like a couple, couple weeks ago. Yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 you know, Spence is Spence is enjoying the money he got, and he's chilling right now. As he should, as he should. I mean, should. yeah, he, I mean, if anything, I know that because you know, Christmas, he probably he probably won't go back into the gym until like probably after Christmas or some shit. That motherfucker's chilling, like he's you know, he's he took, good. He, he, took a, <laughs> he took a brutal ass whooping. I mean, yeah, he, <laughs> you, you, you got you got to let him enjoy his bread after the ass whooping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, but yeah, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's exciting, like, you know, but yeah, people are just like, you know, but if you're out there, like, you know, you try, you know, just try to find excuses to be fucking racist and dumb just because PBC found another platform home, like, like, no, like, if you're not criticizing, wait till they actually try, uh, produce something on there before you actually criticize, like, you just can't, like, you know, you gotta, you know, let them see what they're gonna do first, you know, I mean, and if you don't, and if you don't want to watch it, you know, there's, you know, Watch the zone and top rank and shut the fuck up. Like, you know, seriously. Like, you, you know, niggas is dumb out there. But yeah, like, but then uh, the, only smoke, the only people I have smoke for, like, is the ones that said boxing doesn't belong on the app, you know, TV and shit like that. My old ass, if my old ass can be hip to streaming, y'all can do it, especially the motherfuckers that are younger than me on this. Yeah. So yeah, like, I don't want to, you know, no, no more, like, boxing doesn't belong on the app. Like, if you're not, then you. They clear it. Then the only, I mean, the only thing that's left on the app right now is Top Rank. And yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, it's all apps now, but I know because like, um, LRB, LRB was the one that said, well, "We know we're not going to be on an app." You know, obviously, he was wrong. But people hold on and cling to that. Like everybody said, we're not going to. You know, black, black people said we're not well, going to be on an app. Like, it's well, well, to LRB, LRB, because LRB really be, you know, he he talks a lot of he stuff. And lot does, of yeah, he talks a lot. He, he talks out of his ass. You know, that's the problem with him. Like, this is why, the, uh, like, you know, he, because, you know, because he, he has a bias. He has, a, and, you know, he, yes, he worked with, you know, people saying that he has a bias, but it's like, like, if you say Bucks is long app, but then all of a sudden you're congratulating PBC for being on, for going on a streaming platform, doesn't matter if Amazon's the biggest company in the world and vice versa. The Zone is still a streaming app, too. Like, you can't, you can't, you know, you can't be one thing and just, you know, the same thing and then, the other one, you're just like, oh, pfft. like nah, like nah, get out of here with that. Like that, 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 that that's fake. You know, I mean, I, I'm not gonna respect that type of shit. You know, I, I honestly, I haven't even checked to see if LB's even getting lit up for being all gung ho about it. I just saw the one train that just kept it moving. I don't know if he's even getting lit up about his um about being all turning 180 about that shit. But um, yeah, like give give fucking PVC on on Prime a chance, you know. See you know see what they see see what see what they actually gonna do before you start criticizing them. I mean, even when I criticize PBC, at least I watch the shit, you know, before I criticize it. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's you know, it's you know, it's good times though. Like, boxing's boxing's moving into a different age, man. It's like it's it's weird now. But yeah, I, I just hope too that the pay per views are not gonna be like arm and a leg type of pay per views. Like, if they're gonna be like seventy four bucks, then they better load them shits up. Like I better see, yeah, I, I better see some Don King type of matchmaking. I, I better see some flame fights, like mm-hmm. you know. And, and Tank better not be fighting no fucking Isak Cruz. <laughs> you know, you know I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of the stack super fight with the bullshit car. Like stack the whole car, yo. Yeah, like stack much, the whole car. Like basically, we, we're seeing that now with the the zone car with um, with Wilder and Joshua on there and shit like that. Like yeah, exactly. That's a car. That's something that's gonna keep niggas tuned in for hours. Like you don't want niggas to just tune in at ten o'clock. Like all right, let's turn to watch. Yeah, yeah, because you know Amazon trends. You know Amazon can can see all of that shit, and you don't want Amazon to see all that shit, especially if you're trying to you know get more out of them. You know, in terms of like you know, in terms of like trying to like spread your content. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, like stack them fucking cards. Like I, I will stay inside for hours if you stack them fucking cards. I will make time to stay inside. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, stack them fucking cards up. Yeah, that's 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 my only thing for PVC on Prime. Stack them up. So, and then Anthony Mazar says that's not realistic though, Rome, because the main event usually hogs all the money and the rest of the card gets to scrap. So it's never gonna happen. 
Well, they, uh, well, that's where Bezos comes into play. Bezos is a fucking billionaire. Like, <laughs> the motherfucker's about to be a, might, might be a trillionaire in a decade or something like that. This motherfucker's supercar. That's what I'm saying. Nigga, pay everybody to have a supercar. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like... Nigga, imagine a poster with Tank and Terrence Crawford on the same poster. Like, come on, yo. Mm-hmm. And they're not fighting each other. You'll be like, damn, what, what night is this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, it's so, like, yeah, I mean, PBC, like, I mean, PBC just, you know, gets... I mean, with 14 events, you're going like that. Like, I'm only expecting, like, I mean, I, I can't imagine... Yeah, they, they don't have to do something to drag everybody to Amazon for the first time, their first little outing. They're going to do something crazy. Yeah, this going to be like a promo or some shit like that. Yeah, it, it, it's like... It's going to be like Mike Tyson comes back, fight a nigga, mm-hmm. first fight, then they have the real fights come in. <laughs> <laughs> right. they, don't, they don't get... I'm telling you, they don't get a name that nobody's expecting, and they're going to be like, oh, damn, all right, we back. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, the fun times. But also another boxing related thing that's that, that's been showing up all on my timeline too is the unfortunate incident of where a 56 year old British man was making a pro debut in the ring for some reason. I don't know what the fuck he was doing, but that was nasty fucking work. Yeah, nasty and he, he, work. and he faced the whole jobber who was like zero and six and got knocked out in all of his. Bro, season. what the hell were you doing? Like, yeah. wait, did he win? No, 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 no. I think he's fifty eight. Though I think I think I think he's fifty eight. But either way, he's old as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> fifty eight, fifty nine. He's holy fields age. What the hell? No, wait, was he was he fifty eight? The fifty fifty eight year old that was boxing his whole life and never got a shot, or was he a fifty eight year old like I want to start boxing? No, no, he was like the aspiring mixtape rapper at thirty five. Like, what are you doing? Get a damn job. Get out of here. UPS is looking for a payday. UPS is higher. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, well and I'll take it. You know, they, I mean, obviously with people like that, they match them with the most jobber of jobbers. You know what I mean? Like, dude was zero and six, had been stopping yeah, yeah. losses. And you know, he has zero confidence to fight a nigga with zero wins. It's his first fight. <laughs> well, the, like, the, yeah, the, the jobber knocked them brutally out within 46 seconds. So. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it was nasty too. Head snapped and everything. Yeah, I mean, why would he fight a nigga that just lost six fights in a row? Like that nigga was like, looking for vengeance. Like after you lose six fights, six of your first fights, nigga, mm-hmm. you should be scared to fight that nigga because it's like, yo, he don't want to lose no more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and that, and that was like you just don't play boxing. Like even let's like, say because the nigga the nigga's seven years from elderly. Like what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, it was dumb, and that's why. Because some commissions, like I mean, boxing. Because this is what happens when you don't have a national commission in boxing. Because pretty much boxing is done can be done by state by state or shit like that, and it'll just be like, oh yeah, all you have to do is show. You know, is, 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 do you have high blood pressure? No. Okay, you can get in the ring. You know, don't don't do no neurological exam. Don't check your brains. Don't check anything else. Like, oh okay, don't check the blood. Like, okay, yeah, go in the ring. Oh, well, you're right. There is a committee to make sure you're able to legally box. Like, what the fuck? Well, they approved I'm, this nigga. Yeah, yeah, no, the, yeah. This was a, this, he was approved by a commission, but you know, the one state. Oh, P. What state was it? I, I know it wasn't Vegas. Oh, Vegas would have told that nigga to kick rocks. Oh, let me <laughs> head down. Oh. They would have told his old ass to head down to the casino. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was some bumfuck place. I think boxer. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. It was in fuck, Tennessee. Oh, of course. The f- fuck. Of, of course. course, of course, of course, of course. Of course. Country bumpkins. Yeah, and like I said, because like I said, <laughs> yeah, because Tennessee isn't. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure Tennessee is not under. It's not like it's under like Vegas or New York or any of the other shit like that. Like you know, uh, I, I mean, ten. Ten, Tennessee was the only remember Tennessee was the only uh place that was willing to give uh Mike Tyson a license. <laughs> that's why yeah, that, that's, that's why that's <laughs> Yeah, and, 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 uh, and of course that was for monetary reasons because Tyson brings in a lot of extra dollars that could fuel the local economy. So yeah. So in in hindsight that was you know, obviously, you know, they in you know, they let all that shit slide with what Tyson or whatever, just so they could have it in there at the, at the pyramid. Yeah, you, you're absolutely right, Pete. 
you know, but yeah, it's, it's like it's it, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it was a bum fuck ass commission that approved this guy, and it's just like yo, like you can't. First of all, you can't. You don't play boxing because it's like even if you want to you, you want to do this pro shit, like you know, you still got you got to take it dead serious. Like you can't just be in there, even with someone with no fucking wins and got stopped at all of his losses. Like you still can't. Be so, so yo, if this nigga is so, so seriously hurt, do you think he should sue the commission for approving this nigga? No, no, what? No, they can't. No, they can't. Because basically, you like one the commission. Yeah, I mean, you can only do it if they if they were found negligent of doing something. Like, it, like, it, like if they like if they did a physical and they found something was actually truly wrong with them, but they let them continue, then you have grounds to like sue them or something like that. This but, guy was the whoa. only guy that was negligent in this whole scenario. What are you doing? Right? Yeah. Come on. I mean, nigga, nigga got to prove somehow. Yeah, he got approved, but yeah, they probably didn't do their due. They didn't like do diligence to <laughs> to license him. So, yeah, it's it's like, like, if a nigga is 50, 58 years old, walks to the office like, "Hey man, give me a license from the box," I'll be like, "Nigga, you all right? What's going on at home? I'll get set him up with a counselor, some shit." Because it's like, nigga, <laughs> some some wrong. The nigga obviously wasn't mentally right when he come into a fucking. He's damn near elderly. He comes in looking to fight a nigga. Yeah, and that's like why, yeah, and that's why, and that's what kind of disgusts me because I, I mean, I think, um, I, think, I think it was either last year, or a couple of years ago, when Triller had that pay per view or a card with Holyfield fighting Victor Belfort on there. That pissed and, me off. Yeah, that, yeah, and, and, and truthfully, I mean, I thought either even old ass Holyfield would be able to he should have been knock out Belfort. I mean, also like I mean, look at like real quick, I want to interject. Like Roy Jones, Roy Jones at his peak was probably the greatest. You know, to a lot of people, some of the greatest boxers of all time, but. He fucking has a, 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 a loss on his record recently to a, a, a MMA UFC fighter on box track. Fucking Pettis. It's like, it's kind of sad and crazy, but it's what it is. It's- yeah, and, and, and I'll say, I mean, it's not just a low, it's not, I mean, this is just a latest incident. Like, there's a whole bunch of fuckery with, with small commissions. Like, you know, there are fighters in there who are who are brain damaged, who are legally or brain damaged, but they still continue to fight, or who have vision problems. Or who might have a blood disease or STD that you know they can't they're not supposed to fight with anymore. Like, it, it, it's a whole lot of fuckery that goes into sometimes in boxing because, like I said, because there's no actual national commission that regulates all these motherfuckers from actually getting into the fucking ring again, even though when the, even though they're not supposed to. You know, it's it, it's just a, it's a, like you know people the, the, people need to t- you know tighten some shit up because. Yeah, that, it, it, it's a good thing that fifty six year old was not killed, because um, look like because look like he, he looked like he was seeing the upper room for a minute, you know what I mean? So it's like <laughs> I'll just watch the life. <laughs> That's kind of funny, to know. Yeah, yeah, it's it, 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 it fucking wild too. Because like, that just the, ref, just, the, ref, the, the ref was the one that had sense because like they kept after he got dropped. Why didn't he? Why, I mean, why didn't he get stopped after he got dropped? You know, because that was a brutal knockdown. Yeah, no, it, it was like dude was lying there, like bro was clearly seeing the at the crossroads. But yeah, yeah, yeah they were wilding like, that whole fight. Like, but like I said, he got he eventually he did get up to his feet and everything like that. I know he, they think he said he went to the hospital, but it's like that's funny, that's, funny. That, that's hilarious by Android. The old dude reminded me of the first guy you faced in Super Punch Out. Last show, yo. Yeah, it was Glass Joe and Super Punch Out. Uh, he's a regular Punch Out. Was he? he Glass like Joe. No, he was. In, wasn't he in both of them? He's in both. I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh. He's in both. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I was like, yeah, it's like, yeah. I had to make sure because yeah, Super Glass Punch Joe. Had, yeah, Super Punch Out had all um, you know, different characters, but I think yeah, Glass Joe. I think was was in both. I just had to make sure. <laughs> I think there was there was two of them that were in both. I, Glass Joe. I forgot the other one. But there was another one that was in both of them. I thought I thought it was gonna be Glass Joe. Oh, um, Mr. Sandman. Yeah, no, Mr. Sandman was in both too. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Mr. Sandman was hard as fu- was hard as fuck to beat on Super Punch Out. And Tyson, he was easy, you know, because now I'm showing my fucking age now. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, Mr. Sandman on on, on Mike Tyson's Punch Out, like it, it, it you know, he was easier to fight. Super Punch Out, that motherfucker be throwing combinations upon combinations. You know, all types of shit like that. That motherfucker, that, that, that motherfucker will drive you fucking crazy trying to beat that guy. That was, that's a classic fucking game. Oh, wait, was Bull Bull? No, was Bull Bull in Super Punch Out too? Was he? Damn! And and, and I actually and I actually Who? break up that game. 
Bull, 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 Bull. 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 I think he, yeah, he was. He was. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah. I thought. Oh, wow. So they had three of them in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Bull, Bull was a motherfucker to beat too. In Super Punch Out, he was he was harder. <laughs> he was harder. Than like, than uh, well, I remember there was there was the arcade version too, because. Ah, I forgot because there was another character because it was an arcade before it was on the video game console. Right. It? Yeah, I'm trying to remember because there were differences. I, I was I, I never played the uh, the arcade version, but I've heard there were differences. Somebody was telling me about it. But. Yeah, yeah, I might. You know, I'm off tomorrow. I might need to go play that for old times. I might need to go get high and play that shit for old times' sake because I, I I fucking love Super Punch Out. That was my that was one of my favorite um, boxing games. So, but yeah. Oh, Gabby J. Yeah, no. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, that show wasn't here, but Gabby J. Well, yeah, Gabby J. was the one the first to a punch out. Good looks, Android. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, that's the motherfucker that said, Gabby J. Yay. <laughs> the fucking game. <laughs> Shit was crazy. Oh, that was a fucking, I love that fucking game. But, um, but was yeah. it, was it, was it, uh, Wait, was it King Hippo the guy you faced before you faced Tyson? I'm trying to remember. I'm not. No, no, King Hippo was no. King Hippo was like in the middle. Yeah, DJ. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I'm trying to remember who was the. I'm trying to remember who was the last person before also, you. Faced yeah, I'm play, I was so young playing that. I don't. I don't, I don't remember the name. Yeah, no. In 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 the in the Nintendo version, I think it was Super Macho Man was the one that you faced before Tyson. Yeah, it was, it was Macho Man. I remember. Yeah, that. that's crazy. I've never played this game in my fucking life, yo. Oh, I don't even know what the fuck y'all talking about. This shit sound like some. It sound like that Mortal Kombat one talk y'all was having. <laughs> well, I, I, I hated playing. I hated playing against Tyson because like one punch and you were out of there. Like you had to like go and not get hit at all. I mean, did y'all ever play a real boxing game like Fight Night Champion and shit like that, nigga? Like something you could actually something that actually with a career mode that you can actually see the player and shit like that. <laughs> the Build them up, gain attributes, <laughs> nigga. You're, you're high. You're, you're high, right? <laughs> nigga, you know, you, there was boxing <laughs> before PlayStation One, nigga. The boxing games on there, nigga. These these were for Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Yeah, no, nah, I never played. I never played boxing on Nintendo, nigga. I was too young. I was like what three years old, nigga. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Play Mike Tyson Punch Out, nigga. We, 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 we could tell. We could tell. You're showing your age. <laughs> yes, nigga. Yeah, I'm showing my age, and you showing your age. <laughs> nigga, I like real fighting games where you can, you know, create a player, dress them up, <laughs> yeah. come up with your own ring walk, have your own taunts. Yeah, that's that's the shit I know, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, they, they, I mean, even the new undisputed still they're still prolonging the um a the console drop, and also um. They don't have a career mode yet. It's kind of crazy. The game's been out like over a year. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I, 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 Anthony wants this question answered. He keeps asking, what are your thoughts on the name in my previous comment for the Friday Night Boxing Show for Prime prospects, that would focus on prospects. prospects that they could trademark? What was the name of it? What, what was the uh, name? Uh, no, I think he said, he said, I think he said, pro, pro, hold on, I think you said Prime Boxing Future? It was like wet, it was like wet backs on Prime or some shit like that. Like, it actually, like, like, <laughs> like prospects, like Prime Prospects on PBC, you know, something like that. So. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure PBC will come up with a much catchier name than that, like, <laughs> <laughs> for the Friday Night Fights, I mean. Yeah, they're gonna call that shit Prime, they're gonna call that shit Prime Boxing Champions or some shit like that, nigga. And then you know you, you know some of the races will call that shit crime boxing champions. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, mark that just in case. I'm just fine. No, that's that's kind of hard. I fuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, though, there's people there's people in my group chats that call Tank like, Jeep because you know he hit the bitch with the Jeep and shit. Like, kind of corny ass shit is that Jeep? Yeah, <laughs> Davis Jeep. When he ran over a chick with a Jeep. No, he, he ran. He hit a pregnant bitch or something. I don't know. But. What? Let's not get down that rabbit hole. <laughs> was the doors on or off? <laughs> I don't know the exact story, but he he, he hit and run a, a, a pregnant woman and drove off, and that's why he almost got he got. That is that is the craziest shit I've heard all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he he, 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 yeah, he did do that. He did do that. I mean, dude, he was, I mean, he was facing jail time for a minute. Like, I, I actually don't know what if, if he got off or he's on probation or what. But yeah, dude was facing jail time seriously for that. That's crazy. What the fuck was his driver, nigga? What the fuck? 
you know this, you know this, you know that's a young nigga, man. That nigga wants to drive his own fucking car. That nigga be that nigga be wilding behind the wheel. Yeah, that, that was yeah. He, he made some. I mean, he, I thought he he was doing well until the the, the, the shit with, with you know the female that I think he got cleared of. So yeah, but he got, he cleared up, but then you, you you can't be hitting no pregnant. But, he was with, behaving, but, he was, but for a while he was it seemed like oh he you know he hadn't got in trouble for a year or two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't you yeah. Know? So uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he's on some sort of probation right now. Like he has to be. Like this, you know, you you don't just shake off a hit and run, especially if the if the, if the person was pregnant. Like, nah, that doesn't happen. Like, not 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 in Biden's America. No, no, nah, that's like that's like when they find out that person's pregnant, they like double the charge. It's like, oh shit! Exactly. <laughs> like, damn, she was pregnant, nigga. Go find that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, no, but yeah, no. Ah, uh, yeah. But yeah. Yo, I got, I got some shit I gotta say real quick, yo. What's up? Sexy Red is disappointing me. She's starting to disappoint me. And if I was her baby father, I'd be the maddest nigga in the world. Yeah, I mean, what nigga. do you do now? I mean, she on stage, she just wilding out, yo. She pregnant too. I see, I, I see the. Yeah, she was doing the same shit she was doing before when I liked it when she wasn't pregnant. She just doing the same shit even worse. Like, it's like, damn. Nigga, you don't got a pregnant woman <laughs> fetish, nigga? <laughs> nigga, listen. There's no way she should be doing all this shit and singing all this shit and having a baby listen to all this shit. No. She on stage. <laughs> she on stage. The music going crazy and shit. And the baby, she was twerking on her stomach with the baby. No, like, come on, yo. She's literally pregnant saying, free my ba- in a jail, pregnant as hell, saying, free my baby daddy. Come on, that's some CIA. Listen, the, no, the new song she got is called, fuck my baby daddy. <laughs> yeah, we're putting this but that nigga leave him locked up. Yeah, we outside, ho. It's uh, like, damn, what the fuck? How you, how you little pregnant, like eight, seven, eight months pregnant, dancing in front of a, in a in a jail, fake jail, saying free my baby daddy? What kind of shit is that? Come on. Yeah, yeah she's wrong. That's why. That's why I don't listen to. I don't listen to any of this. You know that horse shit. Like you know, like, because it's just like it's a lot of. Horse no, I used to like it, but I feel like she's too far along her pregnancy to still be making the same music. Where's her? He needs to come in with a Christmas carol or some shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck? But it's just kind of wild. And also, in other news of Negroes wilding out there, you know, one Jonathan Majors was wilding out. You know. Again. Well, as as everyone knows, like you know, the trial for his alleged assault against his his ex is on the way. So allegedly, during one of the he's still trying to get paid for that shit. Like, come on, yo, it's a wrap. She's not getting shit. Yeah, I know, but you know, they don't have nothing. But apparently, they're 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 trying to draw this out, even though dude is clearly dude is innocent in this aspect. No, but I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I, I like Jonathan Majors. The motherfucker can act his ass off, but that motherfucker is off. I can tell he's off, but he's not off in the way nigga. they're trying to portray if he, him. If he, could act, if he can act, he can lie in court, nigga. I mean, because do be do be dressing in fucking like you know in a either one minute he's wearing a fucking Black Panther hat, next minute he's wearing a hat like the Undertaker. And he's or he's dressing like a a 1909's coal miner. <laughs> yeah, and he, and he, remember he stopped the he stopped the randomly stopped the high school girl fight. Yeah, is that yeah, like, dude, <laughs> yeah. Dude, dude, he's randomly right there. What? But but also shouts out because he does have Megan Good by his side, and even though she, you know Megan Good is top five all time, I give you so top five what? I'm just saying in my lifetime she was she's up Megan Prime's a elite. That's all I'm saying. She's elite. Megan Good. Megan Great. Yeah, Megan Gray. He said Megan Gray. <laughs> Megan Gray. <laughs> you, you said good, bro. Hold on, hold on, room. You know who Megan Good is, at least, right? Please say it. You know. Yeah, she was the the second finest chick, and you got served. Who was the first? Oh, uh, my wife and kids chick. Yeah, know. yeah. Uh, Megan Good's over her, I think. But she not was- in that movie. But uh, but, here, but here's what Jonathan Major said. Because uh, during the during the trial in a recording that his ex actually took of him, like Jonathan Majors said that she should care for him as Mich- as Michelle Obama and Coretta Scott King care for their husbands. And then he said, "That's, he, hard. That's hard. That's hard to tell." Was she white? Ain't she? 
Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, all, listen, that, that's the hardest shit to tell a white lady. Like, bitch, you better forget your culture and you better act like Coretta Scott. <laughs> yeah. And then, then he goes on to say, I'm a great man, a great man, and I'm doing great things. The woman that supports mm-hmm. you, yeah. support, you that's like, a great woman and make sacrifices. That's like some reverse slave master shit to tell a white lady to act like Coretta Scott King. That's like, that's crazy. Yeah, it, 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 I, mean, I, I mean, I get it. Like, I get the context of how white people are saying that. But the fact that he's saying that from a, to a whole white woman from the Caucasus Mountains. Saying, well, it makes sense. It's like, bitch, if you're going to be with one of the top black actors, bitch, you better be Coretta Scott. You better go out there and march. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm a top black actor. You lucky. You better go there and put on this cocoa butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She, yeah, she was, yeah. I, 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 uh, like, it, like, that's what everyone kept on focusing on, too. Everyone was like, Jonathan Majors just told that white, just told his white Becky that, you know, to act like Caress Scott King and Michelle Obama. Like, the whole, first of all, it's fuckery. Like, that, that skit worthy fuckery right there. Like, I actually now because it's a, it's a whole recording. I want that. I hope that recording leaks because I want I want to hear how he says it. I want to see if it's like I'm like God damn that nigga's variants must be going crazy. <laughs> this nigga's like, hey, see if he said that shit like all like proper like or when he got or did he get all fucking um, hood on that shit like this? You know, like, like bitch, I need you to be Corrado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, he's a wild dude, but I mean, of course, like I still. Yeah. I hope they, you know, they, you know, because I know the judge allegedly is tired of all this bullshit too. So and it's, it's crazy because I don't even think he all that of an actor like that. Like y'all niggas seen him and do some superhero shit, and niggas think he best takes a sliced bread. Oh, nigga. not he, the superhero shit. Like I mean, he, 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 he was cool. Uh, he cool. He just a regular nigga. Like I rather I I'll, I'll rather watch an Idris Albus movie than that nigga. <laughs> Honestly, well, outside of Creeper, what have you actually watched from him? Uh, the harder they fall, and he had the he had a weird ass role in that, nigga. I like fucking uh, Regina King's role in that. That's a great movie. I hope it's number two. That's yeah, that, yeah that's actually one of the that's actually one of the few westerns I actually enjoy. Like that. Yeah, and Regina King killed that shit. She did. Oh, she, yeah, she always bodies. She always bodies. And the dude, I was, oh, was Regina King kills everything. Yeah, everything. But she had the most believable part. Like you actually felt her. Like she, you felt the pain she felt for Idris, him being locked up. And she like, yo, we ride for this nigga no matter what. Was not my dude Lakeith Le- Stafford in that too? Was he in that? Yeah, yeah. He, he was. was all, he was. That was my first time seeing him do some shit where he don't make niggas laugh. <laughs> yeah, he's a good. No, he's a good actor. I mean, it was a, it was a great movie. It was a really great movie. And that was good. Yeah, and Jonathan, and Jonathan Majors, of course, played the weird nigga that nobody really fucks with. Niggas the outlier. Like, come on, yo. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, mean he, I mean, he killed it in Devotion too. Devotion was a, Devotion was a, you know, was a dope movie. And then, of course, Kang the Conqueror. You know, I mean, I think I probably almost actually watched him actually be Kang the Conqueror in both. No, I, I didn't see that, and I didn't see that movie. What's that Lovecraft Country? I ain't see that shit either. Yeah, I, and that that show. See, Lovecraft Country is a show that and it, there were some episodes that were like that were hard to shit, like that were dope, and it and there were some that were just it was not, and it's not because of him. It's because of the fucking story writing on that shit that, that was too fucking crazy. I mean, he agreed to the script, nigga. I mean, he killed his role in Lovecraft Country, though, because like that. I mean, you know, it was that was that was it was a good show, but sometimes it, when it went when it went left, it went super left. But honestly, do you think this nigga is Denzel level acting? No, he's not. No, I, I just say he has potential because I I always say like I see the same the same type of acting spirit that I saw in Chadwick Boseman. He has it. That's that's to me, and I, I think he can do more. But it's just like you know, just has to do more. You know, but I think now they're trying to kill his career. I mean, it's, I mean, at least yeah, you know, just because you got range, don't make you a top actor. Like, what's the what was the fucking the conductor from Drumline? <laughs> the conductor from Drumline. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about the little curly headed nigga that's a comedian. Orlando Jones. Yeah, exactly. That nigga has range, but he's not one of the top black actors in the world, nigga. 
yeah. Well, just, well, be, just because well, you can well, play well, seventeen well, different roles well, doesn't make you a top actor. So, what do you what, do? You, do you like Johnny Depp? Because I feel like he's like a versatile actor. Do you like Johnny Depp or no? J- Johnny Depp, the Carib- the Pirates of the Caribbean nigga? Yeah. I mean, he plays so many different roles. Yeah, I like him. I like Jim Carrey. Like them niggas, they make a movie whatever they want to make a movie. That's that's a that's a true actor. Like it, when you make the movie cater to you, nigga, and not you just not playing a role. Like the whole movie is not there without you being there. Like come on, nigga, you can sub out a hundred niggas for Jonathan Majors in all these movies. I don't know about all that, <laughs> though. Nigga, you could have put anybody in Creed yeah. 3. You could have put anybody in Creed 3. Yeah, slow down, slow down. You got too much dip on your chip right now. Chill, chill. I'm being dead ass, nigga. <laughs> like Michael B. Jordan. Niggas was hyping Michael B. Jordan up the same way three years ago, nigga. No, no, not really. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Michael Michael B. Jordan. The only reason why people, I mean, because I mean, Michael B. Jordan. I mean, he he's moderately talented actor. I think the only people why this is because the motherfucker, you know, got in the gym and put on like thirty something pounds of muscle. I remember him in from uh, the Wire, you know, Wallace. Um, yeah, I mean, actually, he, I remember before that. I remember him in a uh, Hardball. Pause. Yeah, like, yeah. Was classic. Classic. Was, yeah, but that's a classic movie. Yeah, the motherfucker was skinny, but once he put on the muscle for Creed, that was that was basically about it. That that was the whole thing. Like, yeah, well, I, I like but, his. I, I like um, the dude from Snowfall should be should. Uh, I think he should get a chance to Hollywood. I like him. Uh, Damson Idris, the friend from from Snow, Snowfall. I think he should get I, a chance. I need to. Act, I, I I need to at some point. I need to start binging that shit because yes, yeah, so I need to. It's, okay. it's one of those shows I need to actually do. I need to binge. <laughs> it's in between, I'm gonna say it's, obviously it's not the wire, but it's in between Power and the Wire. I think it's better than than Power. Any of the powers, but it's not really such a touch in the wire, so it's like kind of in the middle to me. Still yeah, different. I don't think I don't think anything's gonna touch the wire like that. So, but yeah, guys, I was like, give it a chance because you, yeah, you, you know, that, y'all seen that movie Drag the Call Cross Concrete with Mel Gibson and Vince Vaughn? Oh hell no! No, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, no, I didn't. Nigga, that movie is amazing, and there's a nigga in that movie. And he's a great actor. I don't even know his fucking name. Yeah, I, I tend to not watch a lot of Mel Gibson movies because that motherfucker. No, it's he, he does some racist shit in there, but it's like dope because the niggas get back at him. So it's like his movie, but he lets the niggas win. <laughs> like, like the like the only shit I've watched with Mel Gibson on in the last couple of years is he, he was on the Continental that John Wick TV show, and the motherfucker was off on that shit too. Like he was. Listen, he was, I'm telling you, Vince Vaughn was great in this movie. Like, I thought he was a comedian, but they made this nigga dramatic as fuck in this movie. I'm telling you, it's on Netflix. Drag the Cause Concrete. It's like three hours long, but it's fire. It's about, it's two, cro- it's two crooked cops, so you know they do some racist shit. Vince Vaughn and Mel Gibson, the crooked cops. Yeah, because knowing, knowing both their actual views in real life, I can only imagine the type of, it might be one of those, it might be one of those movies that might upset me until it actually gets to the point where it doesn't upset me. <laughs> I mean, if you're not Spanish, if you're not Spanish, it won't upset you that much. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Marquis is like, I mean, Jose Benavides was a heavyweight in Creed Three. They all seem interchangeable. I mean, at least, Benavides at least did decent in his role, like you know. But yeah, they were kind of wild in putting him as a heavyweight. Like, nah. Nigga, yeah, he got his, he got beat up. By arm shots, like nigga, <laughs> nigga punched him in the shoulder. Like, come on, yo. Yeah, you're a fuck- the nigga just got out of jail. There's no way he's that strong, and you've been training your whole fucking like this whole time. This nigga's been in jail. This nigga just comes out of jail and whoops your ass. <laughs> he, he, he was he was that nice. It's not like he was in jail doing anything but sit ups and push ups, nigga. <laughs> But yo, speak, speaking of jail, in a segue, yo, uh, there's there's one you know head of Bad Boy Records who seemingly might be on his way to jail again. He's not getting he's not getting locked up. I mean, but uh, I mean, I think I think now it's open season on one Sean the Puffy Combs. Like, like no, it's just cash. It's just cash cash out season. That's why all of the businesses withdrew from him, so they couldn't get cash from the businesses. Now, yeah. now they gotta sue him personally. 
Yeah, and, and the other thing too was was she gonna take the court and they're not gonna win? Well, basically, it's underage. It's underage uh, women right now. It's, it's an underage girl that they're talking about. And of course, on, there, was, there was a whole story too, like just like the Cassie thing where you read. Fill me in. Fill me in. Pause. Well, I mean, apparently, no. It's to some, him and Harf Pierre, aka Joe Hooker, on all the Bad Boy albums. You know, took you know took turns with uh, raping this seventeen year old girl. Joe um, Harf Pierre uh, allegedly was smoking crack out of an aluminum can before he did it. So it was, well, he was on make, real quick, he was on making the band, wasn't he? I swear he was. Yeah, on he, was he, he was on making the band. He was on that, that show heavy. I remember him on that show heavy. Crazy. Yeah, he, he's he's also that cat and that and that, ba- and that black rock song that says "I dare you to come against me." He's the one that sings that shit. What? Yeah, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it, so yeah, apparently he was sm- he smoked crack out of a aluminum can before he took turns to rape this girl, and he did it in graphic detail. Like yeah. this is they wrote I that mean, shit. There's so much stuff out, out there, though. No? Like I mean, real, did y'all see that interview? It's an old interview, I'm sure. But when when Kevin Hart's interviewing Usher and Diddy, yeah, of course. Yeah, and then yeah. you know, talking about we used to wake up together when he was like ten to thirteen, like yeah, and then wrestle and all that type of shit like and that. Then, like, and, it, just... it, it, and then you see like Kevin Hart say, "Do you hear what he said?" And then he kind of gives him a headlock to make him shut up, you know. And and uh, it's like, what kind of shit yeah. is that, man? Like, what, what really? Like, what kind of shit is that? I mean, like I said, uh, Puff is Puff is on some other shit. Puff is what he is, like you know, Puff. I mean, I mean, Puff is a predator <laughs> with a with the capital P. Like he is one. Like you know, there's. Like there's a lot of fuckery in 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 puffs in puffs past. There's a lot of that. Like you know, he has a lot of skill. But like Rome said, dude is powerful. Dude has dude has a lot of money and he throws his money around. Like, and it was like one of those things. It's just like, geez, like <laughs> you know, like how does he keep escaping? Like I mean, I told you I mentioned the whole shine incident too. So it's like you know, it's like Puffy got it, did that. So it's like. Now he's back in the news for ripping a seventeen-year-old girl, and so it's gonna be now. It's like, will Puff actually pay off this one, and then another one will come out the woodworks? Thing, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. It's really like I feel like he's either gonna be Russell Simmons, like get out there and move to you know some valley or some shit, or he's gonna be Bill Cosby or R. Kelly. He's gonna do some time. Yeah, yeah he's not going. To, he's not going to jail, yo. He's gonna no, he's gonna prison. He ain't going to jail. He's gonna go to prison. You won't go to prison either. There's no way he can get convicted for this shit. <laughs> He's not. Nah, the, he, the reports. Maybe this is me. Right? Listen, I'm not victim blaming. <laughs> I'm not, and I'm not saying that these are wrong, but these are all allegations. Mm-hmm. Right? It could be anybody, nigga. I can write up a story right now and say Puffy touched me when I was a little boy and went to the studio to listen to fucking We Major or some shit. <laughs> nigga, I can say all, I, I can say whatever the fuck I want, nigga. Get a lawyer to believe it. <laughs> and we on the news. Remember, we live in the age where niggas just want to go viral for no reason. They ain't got shit going on. They just like, fuck it. And if they remember they even seen Puffy one time, they like, oh fuck, he did kind of touch me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, yo, it's just like Cassie. Cassie was the first domino. That's all it is. Well, Cassie, what happened with Bill? What happened with Bill Cosby? One one old ass fucking seventy five year old lady. Yeah, I think he gave me a pill when I didn't want it. The next thing you know, twenty seven bitches came out talking about yeah, he did the same thing to me. It's yeah. the same shit. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that Bill Cosby shit. Now, I mean, uh, now nah, you can't say nothing about R. Kelly because he recorded the shit. You can see it on K- camera. Yeah, this nigga yeah, really, no. this, no. that nigga really did that shit. Yeah, you know, Bill, Bill, yeah, Bill Cosby was just, you know, it's just an unfortunate situation where they railroaded him for no real reason, and even though the statute of limitations kind of, you know, definitely ran out on that shit. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, they they had it in for Bill Cosby for whatever reason. But um, for Puff, though, I mean, I don't feel sorry for Puff because, you know, Puff has ruined a lot of lives in his lifetime. So it's like it's like it's like the chickens is coming home to roost for him. <laughs> so, you know, but uh, yeah, I mean, if, yeah, if there's if even if he pays this one off, there's always there's always going to be more. And I'm pretty sure someone more with actual proof with, with more solid proof 
And other than the blurred out picture with the seventeen with with that girl on his lap at the at one well, at the studio, so it's like, yeah, Puff is a uh, Puff is a wild boy. But like I said, the, all that all that wild shit's coming back to haunt him. <laughs> Chickens oh, always come home to roost eventually. Yeah, and in Miss Seven Hundred Two, a ring gang show without Shadow's Wharf is like wrestling without Vince McMahon. Well, we've had shows without <laughs> without. <him. laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, like, like, we've we've had shows, and you know, and you know, they're still good fucking shows. <laughs> we're like we're like uh, Wu Tang without Method Man, like like West Side Connection without Ice Cube. Okay, well, we get it, we get it. You yeah. like Shutterworth? Well, he not. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get to wrestling without Vince McMahon. That's hard. We've, I mean, we've had wrestling without Vince McMahon. So. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, she's a fan of Shutter. Shout out to Shutter. And then, yeah, and Henny God, have y'all seen that new GTA Six? Uh, I, I did. I did see it, and I saw people thirsting over a damn video game character, like bruh. Like, and, and I saw, are... and I saw people being uh, being upset because there was a lot more black people, black characters in that fucking trailer. There's always some black people though. San Andreas, like what the fuck? Are, you know what I'm saying? Like what the fuck? Yeah, I, 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 I think I think people just be getting mad for no fucking reason these days. I mean, days. I'm like, a little mad. The main, I mean, hopefully you can choose to be a dude. No offense. I mean, being a woman's cool and all. I'm just saying. I ra- like I rather I'm a, I rather just be a, a person I look like. In the, anytime I play a video game, whether it be boxing, any sport game, boxing, any sort of RPG, I want to. I can make my guy black. I'll make my guy, you know, darker skin. Like I'm just saying, like a, dude, <laughs> a, male, a male, you know, like a male, like a male, you know. Yeah. Black, you know. But, you know, that GTA shit is hard, though, but that's not coming out to what, 2025? Yeah, 2025. That's a long fucking time, though, but hey, I mean, we're, 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 we're over here waiting for Undisputed, though. <laughs> so it's like, that's I'm, I'm not, I, I don't give a dang about Undisputed. I, I'm not expecting much from it, but whatever, we'll see. See, I mean, cause I, I, I've already seen it because, I mean, you know, shout out to my boy Vlad, you know, because when I went over to go watch, um, uh, fucking Benavides versus Plant. Before that, he was playing that shit. He had that shit set up in the, in one of his rooms or whatever. And and, and like the gameplay, it, it's dope. Like you know, it's like I mean, it's not like it's trash. Like I I saw it in action. Like because because it's available on PC and I think on some other system. Uh, so it, it, it like it's it's seriously dope. I I, I uh, they, they, they could definitely add on to that. So it's not I mean it's not so it's not like they're wasted. It was a waste of everyone's time on that shit. Like it's 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 it's, it's dope, to me. you know. And of course, you get you get to see some of the bugs, like you know, knocking someone completely out of the fucking ring, like that type of shit. That shit was hilarious. But you know, it was yeah, like I mean, it's it's not a bullshit game though. I, I will say that. But I think they're just trying. I think, but honestly, I think they're doing a lot. They're just adding on all these characters and shit like that. But it's like eventually, this shit needs to go to production. Like you know, you, you like make this shit available because. We need a fuck. We need a fucking boxing game in this generation. Like boxing, we have all this. We have all this boxing going. All these changes. We need a boxing game to reflect all these fucking, you know, shit going on. Like there, like, you know, like boxing games where the, the, most, the latest boxing games pretty much have most of like, you know, uh, one of the fight nights has probably like half the fighters on that roster are probably fucking retired now. Like we we need we need some up to date shit, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, that's uh, is there anything else that we got to rant about? Anything else that's like, because I'm just thinking, I'm just trying, I, think I, I think I got off all the ones I wanted to rant about. Uh, not really. I don't think I have anything else to rant about. I, yeah, feel, so. like, yeah, I feel like we touched upon it. We you touched everything, I feel like, you know? So. Yeah, I, I know I, I know. Shutterworth wanted to do AZ, but I haven't, I haven't even listened to the new AZ. I haven't listened to it. I haven't listened to it. It's, all, it's all right. It's nothing, it's nothing to write home about. <laughs> it's nothing to write home. So, yeah, it's cool. yeah, usually, oh, usually, uh, uh, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Because yeah, mm-hmm. he was complaining about the, the production on the shit. And usually, when LB starts complaining about production, sometimes for me, it's like, I, you know, I huh, what's wrong with this production? It's like, it's like an inverse thing. So I'm actually I, I, tomorrow I'll I'll, I'll I'll listen to it to see. Like, it's nothing. Yeah. It's nothing wrong with the production. Honestly, it's not a bad album. It's 11 tracks. It's just like, eh, it just flew by quickly. It wasn't nothing that that stands out. Nothing to write home about. So, so it was on some fast food shit. Like it was just like it was just there and then just just kept it moving. Yeah. Uh, 
I got one more thing. I got one more thing to mention, yo. What up? You ready for the downward spiral of them bitch ass eagles, nigga? Nigga, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> nigga, your your team your team is knocked out of actually your team can't even make the playoffs anymore, bro. Like, nigga, it's all right. I'm still cheering for the NFC North, nigga. I hope Green Bay spoils all y'all for it, nigga. Nigga, you disgust me. You are your room for the NFC North. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking Bears fan, you nigga. You you disgust me, nigga. Go wash your face, bro. Like, look, yeah, look, I'm, I'm cheering for my division now. I just hope my division make it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm rooting for the Giants to win, but for other reasons. Matter of fact, I'm I regret that win against the Eagles because we ain't doing nothing and that it just cost us a win in the in the rankings, in the draft. Um, we should have lost that game and we should have lost the Giants game because we're not going nowhere. And I want I want to get a good draft pick. I want to draft Marvin Harrison Jr. and we might be out out the range for him. But we'll see. Yeah. We're gonna lose. Wait, wait, what's your team? Zach Wilson, right? He started. He started. Yeah. He's, come, he's come back starting this week. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, but it's, yeah, he, he ain't gonna do much. So he gonna we gonna lose and, to Texas. And, and my Rams. Not, 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 if I was a wide receiver that played for the Jets, I wouldn't even suit up on Sunday, nigga. <laughs> that nigga is not. That nigga is not throwing the ball. <laughs> and Trust he, me. And that, that, that's why I'm aggravated. That the Eagles lost to him. He was a game manager, and the defense ate. Yeah, we you shouldn't. Have, we shouldn't have won that game. We shouldn't have won the Giants game either. Ugh. Yeah. So, see, it's not meant because if we if we didn't lose the Giants game, we would have clinched the first playoff spot for the season. If we didn't, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't even have to worry about not losing your next four, nigga. Next four? Who, who are you talking about? The Eagles? Next four? Yeah. Nigga, our schedule gets lighter. What the fuck is you talking about? No, you know, you have, you, don't you play... You play the D- Dallas this week. Well, they play, yeah, they they play, play the Dallas. Bills. They don't play the Bills. No, they, they, play the Bills. No, they play the Dallas. Dallas. They play Dallas. They play Seattle. They play the Giants twice, and they play Arizona. Yeah. So Okay. Yeah. No, if y'all don't... Y'all only gonna win against the Giants in Arizona, nigga. Y'all losing to Seattle and y'all losing to Dallas. That's three yeah. games, though. That's three games. They play the Giants twice. So they beat the Giants twice and they beat Arizona. That's three games. So they, yeah. they'll end up. Well, home field is out of the question. Home field is out of the question. Yeah. Well, well they went thir- was that 13 and 4. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 13 and 4 will probably. I mean, we'll, we'll, I mean, if we beat the Giants twice. And we beat the Cardinals. We get the division, anyways. We, I can uh, see the Giants getting. I can see the Giants getting one of them games because y'all full of y'all niggas. That's uh, here, trust me. We're not losing to fucking this Giants. You know, right? you no know, two pulling players closer to the playoffs to get a rest. No, that, well, that's only if, if that's only if they've clinched and have nothing else to play for. Yeah, exactly. We're, play for the fucks, uh, we're not gonna fucking pull Jalen until we get until we get until we clinch the first seed. Like if we could, we, we could one seed then we then you know then we'll you know then fucking Mariota can fucking earn his money but yeah no like, yeah but when y'all lose the next two games y'all not gonna win out that's what I'm saying y'all gonna rush niggas we're still gonna get into the playoffs we're gonna try to get, uh, we're trying to get to the highest seed like we're not gonna like you know what the fuck like nigga I hope y'all didn't get bounced by Green Bay in a wild card game type shit Green Bay ain't making no goddamn playoffs nigga get the fuck out of here they're making a wild card. Get the fuck out of here. Detroit falling downward. We're going to beat Detroit this week, and then Green Bay going to be right in the catbird. Yeah, I, 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 need the, I need the Bears to win a couple of games so they can leapfrog the Jets in the draft stage. So, yeah. No, the, uh, we, we still getting top pick, nigga. No, well, yeah, but you, y'all are getting the, uh, the, the Panthers pick, but I'm talking about y'all pick. Your physical pick that... You're like you pick right before us. Yeah. Panthers so, not winning. I mean, Panthers ain't winning another game, yo. So we got we straight. Well, yeah. Bridge, you can, I mean, Bridge got the first pick. They're gonna probably take. Kayla, no, but that that's that fine. But I'm we not, get no. We get Marvin Harrison. Y'all don't think no, no. Y'all not picking Marvin Harrison with the first pick. Yeah, y'all taking Caleb. You're taking Caleb. I mean, Marvin Harrison should be number two or like really high. But I'm saying Caleb's number one. Like, even though he's kind of under delivered. We're not getting Caleb. Caleb was number one easily. We're not getting a quarterback. The Justin Fields is our quarterback. He's good, but, no, but, but take, even if you hold, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, even if you don't want to take a quarterback, you trade, you get, you trade out of the number one spot like you did last year, and then just get a whole bunch of picks. Like, yeah, nigga, but look, we got DJ Moore in a, in a couple picks. Like that helped 
But it didn't do shit for our record, nigga. We need to win. <laughs> like, yeah, we got a fucking number one receiver from the, from the Carolina, and that nigga has four touchdowns in the fucking season. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> y'all are not taking Marvin Hat. Y'all are not taking Marvin Harrison Jr. Nigga, we need some O line and a fucking wide another wide receiver to go side by side with DJ Moore. Moore's nasty, but yeah. Nigga, the the Eagles need some fucking linebackers, nigga. Like I don't know. Nigga, y'all, man, y'all niggas get a new player every fucking week. I'm tired of y'all niggas. We have a shot at Shaquille Leonard. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, oh, oh, first of all, I want him to produce though. But we need some healthy. Linebackers because no, people think linebackers is a dead position, but they matter because look at the you got know, one of the best secondaries in the league. Yeah, like, you know, like, when it comes to the defense, right? Like like edge rushers and DBs like are more prioritized than linebackers. It's more. It's more. Honestly, I could see the the um Rome. I could see the Bears uh signing a wide receiver. Like I can see y'all signing T Higgins because T Higgins is not staying with. Them. Nigga, I don't want no fucking T Higgins. I want somebody that's gonna get us a win. T Higgins haven't won a game for fucking Cincinnati ever. Well, <laughs> Stop. One, one player can't win a fucking game for the team. So Nigga, if we get McCaffrey, I bet you we win some fucking games. Right. Or 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 if they had an AJ Brown. We get Darren Henry, I guarantee you we fucking score three rushing touchdowns. <laughs> no. Like, come on, yo. Stop playing with that one player shit. One player does make a difference. Oh, oh what well, you, you mentioned. Tom Brady turned a franchise from being the worst in their division to the Super Bowl champion. Stop. That's- Same team. Same no. team. They had an A B and Tom Brady and went to the Super Bowl and won. That, that's also that's also not true. That's also not true. They also <laughs> upgraded the offensive line and they added more pieces. Like y'all went from during like, COVID, when you couldn't even practice with a nigga. Nah, nah, you got to stop that. It wasn't like they just <laughs> did great and the rest of the team was the same. No, no. no. Listen, but, it's only eleven niggas on the field. One player makes a big difference. <laughs> Telling you. A wide receiver is probably not that much of an impact position, but hold on, hold on. Uh, wait, hold, hold on. you said a wide receiver is not that much of an impact position. Of course it is. There's many niggas that can catch out there, nigga. As a one, as a one player difference, because you know you got three other niggas out there with you. you got... hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, you're saying wide receiver is not that much of a difference, but yet you want to, you're advocating to draft a wide receiver with the first pick. So we need a running want... back, but I don't know what the fuck we doing. I don't know what we doing, nigga. I don't know the direction we're going. We went from being having the best defense to being the number one rushing team to being the losing team. Like you know, I don't, I don't get it. Last year we was the best rushing team in football. This year we can't win a game. Two years ago we had the best defense. Like get the fuck out of here, yo! I'm tired of this ups and down shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what my team wants to be, so I don't know who the fuck we should draft, nigga. That's for them niggas up in that fucking office to figure out. <laughs> I mean, geez, like I mean, your division, the, the, the Detroit Lions are number one, and and it looks like they're gonna, the, the Lions. they're gonna they're gonna win their first division title in thirty fucking years. The niggas are still not gonna win a playoff game like they always do. Yo, honestly, I mean, they have, I mean, they have a good shot at winning. I mean, hey, listen. Actually, where are they right now? So right now, they're that for their three seed. So, I um, mean, oh, if the playoffs started, they would be facing what the Vikings? Yeah, yeah, they be facing. <laughs> yeah, they could. Yeah, Vikings. Yeah, yeah, Vikings are. Yeah, they, I don't even. I as far as I don't even know how how they're even six seed to be honest. But you know, they 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 could beat the damn Vikings <laughs> if, the, if the playoffs started. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the lot. Yeah. The Lions, I mean, I know, like, last season, I know, they played the Eagles tough, so I know, like, you know, them motherfuckers, they, they, they play harder, that's it, like, Detroit is like, yo, we, we are tired of all this, we are tired of all this losing shit. Like, hey, hold on. Who yo, 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 Pat, answer me one question, yo, why does it look like Jalen Hurts don't give a fuck about playing football every time he play football? No, he does, what are you talking about? He does, but you know, I, I think that nigga look like he don't care. You see when Jay Elliott hit that field goal and shit, like that nigga's like, "Yo, fuck these well, niggas." You get that, sure. that nigga went to the Super Bowl and lost it by the skin of his teeth. So he he's trying to, you know, so he's I think he's you know trying to be on the stoic shit because 
Because you know, because you know, he's not doing the gritty. He's not dancing in the end zone like he usually like in like in that. You know, he just scores a touchdown and like goes and sits down. I'm like, yo, is this nigga depressed or some shit? <laughs> so fuck, he's wrong with him. <laughs> no, I, 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 I just think he's just being. He's, I think he's just being. He's just taking super because he, he really wants to go back. He wants to win the Super Bowl. So I mean, I'm 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 pretty sure once he wins the Super Bowl, he'll probably see all this. That shit's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> shut, up. shut up, nigga. No, no, who asked you, nigga? Shut up. Uh, <laughs> that shit is not gonna happen. NFC is not letting that shit happen, nigga. Nigga, NFC yeah. wants that shit. The fuck? Who, who, who do you think they're gonna? You think they're gonna put Dallas in there? <laughs> yeah. This day here, and I don't even like Dallas. This day here. Nah, fuck, fuck a Dak. Prescott. We're gonna score forty a night, nigga. Come nah, on. Nah, fuck a Dak. Fuck a Dak Prescott. Nigga. We're gonna throw four touchdowns a game. Yeah, I like, guess. Get, get, get the fuck out of here. Nigga, I, I get Jula Hurts, teams. Jula Hurts, Jula Hurts, do his little tush push for third downs and shit, while fucking Dak is doing seventy yard bombs, nigga. Barely beat Geno's, Geno in fucking Seattle. Who you think? Real quick, who is coach of the year? Dan Campbell or um, D'Amico Ryan from the Texans? The Lions or Texans? D'Amico. D'Amico gotta make the D'Amico. Yeah, right now, the Lions. He coached the second round, the second pick. To be one of the top quarterbacks of the year, nigga. Yeah, and he's a defensive coach, but I'm saying like, like the, the Texans are over. You know, they won like two games last year, right? One or two. And games. if they spoil, and if they spoil the team in the playoffs, they have to get in first. But they'll probably get it. I hope they get in because CJ Stroud is looking. See, like, I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't like to go against a former Eagle. I mean, although the nigga played on Texans too, you know. But, I mean, but Campbell, like them players, play hard for Campbell. I'm not gonna lie to you, like them motherfuckers really play hard for Dan Campbell. Like, that's the thing. It's like. He's, like, a, I, he's a player's coach. He's a, play, he, yeah, he's he's a player's coach. coach. Yeah, they the, the motherfuckers really do that shit. So yeah, and I'm a, you know I'm a Rams fan. So Jared Goff will being it's, a, it's bittersweet seeing Jared Goff you know like kind of balling you know. Yeah, and, 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 and Texas have, the Texans have actually made the playoffs and actually won a playoff game more recent than Detroit. So if the Lions can get to the playoffs and win the game, like you might as well that he's done more than D'Amico just by just doing that because he's off that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's take a look at some Henny God. Uh, Henny God, so where's the nigga that's always talking about the new Mortal Kombat? I don't know. He hasn't. He hasn't shown up tonight. You know. He asked me when we were starting. Yeah, damn. He, he didn't show up. I mean, he might be bracket by. Who knows? Yeah, and then Henny God. And then Henny God also asked. Side note: How about uh, how y'all feel about the promotion of the Wilder Joshua card? I like the picture. I like the picture that came out today. Yeah, and the new, the two, the, then that one picture with the, with the four main fighters looked kind of old school. You know, that's nineties vibe for real. Yeah, and yeah. Like, like, and then the ones that all at the table, that shit was hard. Like you know, I mean, I, I mean, like let's put it this way. I mean, I, the promotion of the fight is what's going to happen is the Saudi Arabia princes are going to invite, are going to pay for all the celebs to come in there like they did with the Tyson Fury and, and Gano shit, and they're all going to be there. And it's all going to be buzzing. So. Promotion, yeah. like honestly, I mean, uh, yeah, sure, it, it can be promoted, but they're, they're going to promote same, it in yeah. their own way. It's not, the <laughs> same, it's not the same. It's not the same promotion like how um the Haney Regis is all these YouTube shits. You know what I'm saying? All these interviews and face to faces. Yeah, you know, I probably would if if Wilder and uh, Joshua gets made after that. That's going to have the, the the better have some crazy promo. Yeah, you know, no, that, I mean, that's what that's what's supposed to happen. But yeah, I, I don't think. I mean. I mean, we already had the we we already have the opening press conferences and shit like that, and you know there were several viral moments. Yeah, you know, Baby Miller going off at the mouth of him and Joshua cussing each other out and shit like that. Yeah, like they already had that, but and supposedly Wilder um Wilder said he's in a multi fight deal with Saudi Arabia. He let the cat out the bag that basically he's not going to be on Prime. He's yeah, yeah, he's like, not he's not going to be any prime, he's not going to be on Prime for any on, on in the near future. Like he's he getting older, so he's probably, maybe he'll finish on Prime. You know what I mean? But yeah, he's, yeah, he's but yeah I mean, like I said though, like we said about the Saudi Arabia, money talks over there. Like they actually showed us what money really does because. Like they they did Saudi Arabia did what American and UK promoters couldn't do for the last five years. So it's like, uh, but like either way, I don't care. I, I don't think they care about the promotion because, like I said, Saudi Arabia is you know that's oil money and whatever God knows money over there. So like no, motherfuckers cannot buy don't have to buy a pay per view. They're gonna still gonna recoup that shit in other ways. Like so that, I think I think that's why it's like I mean although but they should actually you know promote it because you know. You know, it would be nice to actually say, "Oh, you know, we have some momentum going." If Wilder and Joshua both 
beat their opponents. Like, hey, like this is a thing. Like, you know, let's market this in the states a little bit, even though we all know it's gonna take place in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking trip. That's another thing about boxing. Just, I mean, all this shit. The heavy, the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world and all the heavyweight fights are now gonna be home in Saudi Arabia. That's that shit. That shit. That shit is wild to me in a way. America will never get a significant heavyweight title fight again. <laughs> just, just, I shouldn't even laugh. That's not even really funny. But it's not funny. It's not funny. But it, it's it is it's true. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those things because it's like yeah, because because especially now, I mean, Wilder's pretty much said like, oh yeah, I'm just, yeah, now nah, I'm getting this money. You, you, and you know that's you know he's he 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 knew what time it was. He's like, oh yeah, like you know, you know, I, I know what Alice definitely was cool, but you know. The sheiks are talking about, hey, you know, giving me like 40, 50 million. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill with them for a little bit, you know. And and, and I don't blame them, but of course, the best fights for them are probably within Saudi Arabia. Like no one, like you know, we all got tired of waiting for fucking Wilder and um, Andy Ruiz to get their shit together. So Wilder made the next best move. So I don't even blame him <laughs> for real. Uh, let's see, Quanchi. How y'all feel about the new GTA game? Uh, yeah, Quanchi, we we talked about that earlier, and of course, I don't lie, the graphics, at least on the, from what I've seen, looks really good. But yeah, I love how it takes place in Miami. Yeah, I can see all of the neighborhoods that I be chilling in. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah like, like GTA is probably one of the few games like I always think about. Damn, like, I, I want to go buy a system again so I can so I can play that shit. You know, I, I could play shit again because I used because that game was yeah GTA. Nigga, I played GTA Five routinely, nigga. I just played that shit the other day. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I wish I could do that. <laughs> I, I don't have. I, I didn't. I, 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 so part of me was I should I should just just for GTA. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I might Tim if GTA Six if they keep putting out uh, trailers like that, I might just fucking do it. <laughs> And then Quanti says, Eagles the best team. Lord Shinnok approves. Well, yeah, of course Eagles are the best team. Eagles are number one still. Like, yeah, we got, you know, yeah, the Niners, you know, they did their work, but we're still number one. We still, we still have that cushion, but yeah, we got to beat Dallas on Sunday. And if they lose, don't nobody in this fucking chat right now talk to me if they lose. This Sunday Night Football? <laughs> yeah, that's Sunday Night Football. That's going to be a great fucking yo, yo, how y'all, how y'all doing in fantasy? I don't play. I don't play. <laughs> I play the Madden League. I do the Madden, the, the Madden with the, you know the college. Oh, none of y'all got a team? Well, you, I already said I don't. I, do well, hold up. I, I mean, said, I, I mean, like, I know P does. I mean, eight different leagues. So, are you are you playing no contention in any of them? Uh, in two of them, I'm definitely making the playoffs. Some of the other ones, I I I think there's three of them where I need to win. Uh, this week to get in, or else I get bounced. But yeah, me yeah. too. In one league, I need to win this week. The other league, I'm definitely in. I'm like eight and three or some shit like that. <laughs> and, and niggas below me are like six and seven, so I'm straight. Yes. But I don't know. I just fucked up by playing Jalen Warren today. Didn't he get some touches though? Like what did he, what, what? Yeah, seven rushes for eleven yards. Drop that <laughs> nigga off. <laughs> kick him off and kick his ass off the team, nigga. I could have ran for eleven yards with seven rushes, nigga. Come on, yo. <laughs> I actually thought he got more than that because I saw him like, God damn, that nigga I thought that nigga ran from down ran for first down a couple times. Like, oh, yeah, four catches for thirty yards. Hmm. That's crazy. So forty yards from scrimmage. Yeah, no- <laughs> with eleven touches. That's all right, but come on, yo. <laughs> Come on, yo, he's get a touchdown. I mean, you're playing the fucking... You're at home and you're playing against New England and you can't score against the worst team. Nigga, they... Like, they, you, they the, the Steelers fucking lost to them. Like, the shit was fucking... Like, they lost that shit. Like, jeez. Yeah, uh, well, I had that in my parlay I set up, so... That's one out of 13. <laughs> well, speaking of parlays, when's the last... Uh, yeah, when does Florida become uh, legal for sports gambling anyways? Oh, uh, it's it started on the 7th. It started on the seventh. Oh, so you good now? Today's so, the seventh. Yeah, today's it. So yeah, so no more asking me to put in bets, right? You guys can actually go into FanDuel or whatever. no? We can't go into FanDuel. It's it's semi-regulated, so we can only use Hard Rock 
the betting sites. Or you can only gamble at the casino. You can't do FanDuel. You can't do... Wait, you can't do FanDuel? So what can you do? They have their own website. They have their own app. They have their own app for it. It's called Hard Rock Sports Betting. Oh, I mean, at least you can actually... So you can actually use that. I mean, at least you can bet off that. Oh, my God. Yeah, but it, it, the, the odds are different than the FanDuel and shit. Mm. Like, they, they skew the odds. That's why I don't like it. Because it's like you can't really... You don't have a choice. You can't be like, all right, I'm gonna go on FanDuel, I'm gonna go on this, I'm gonna go on that. No, it's you gotta use this, nigga. If you don't wanna use this, pull up to the casino and just put it on a slip. Yo, that's how they want you to do it. Shit, yo, do you know? I mean, do you know FanDuel will ever be legal in Florida? I doubt it, nigga. It's because all of the gambling here is Indian regulated, so they don't they don't play that. They don't play that shit. You have to be a resident of Florida to. To sign, like to use it, or yeah, no, to use the hard rock. I don't know, it's all new. Well, no, I think you do because they just said, yeah, open to residents of Florida. Yep, yeah. damn, okay. Because if I go in FanDuel, it says, oh, nigga, you're not in the right location. Yeah, like, that's, how they, that's how they get you yeah, because you have to have your GPS enabled, and that's how they do it. Yeah, fuck uh, that, nigga. I thought since the one sports book is open, they all get open, but I guess not. Yeah, I think I think it'll be about like I said, it's because of the because of the yeah about because of the whole Indian tribe. So yeah, I think Connecticut had that issue before, but then uh, they then they allowed it. Then I think Massachusetts didn't luckily didn't have that issue with the tribes and stuff like that. So. Damn though, that sucks though. That has to be regulated like that though. But they, they have to make sure that the Indian reservations they get their they get their gambling cut before anyone else does. So I exactly. Damn, that sucks, bro. <laughs> well, I guess I guess I'll, I guess I'll be putting in your bets again unless you guys <laughs> if, if you don't get the odds on the on, on the yeah, because the parlays like you can't really do same game parlays and shit. Mm-hmm. And they don't show you the odds for it until you put it together. It's like it's like scam. It's very scammy. Jeez. Yeah, it's kind of weird, yo. Like you know how they'll be like, "All right, you log in a friend or they'll be like, this is a hundred thousand niggas just placed this bet. Do you want to partake?'" And you be like, "Yeah." And then you just take some shit out and add your own shit, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But no, they don't have that. They have some shit set up. But I was looking at some shit today. And it was like. Uh, Herbert Jones, Anthony Davis, and D'Angelo Russell to get two steals each. <laughs> <laughs> and then they had Jonas Valencianis and Zion Williamson over ten rebounds, and then they were like plus one thousand. They were like plus one thousand. I'm like, yo, this shit would never happen. Like, why would all of them niggas have three steals? <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> They just want niggas to throw their money away. It's hilarious. <laughs> God damn, yo. Wait, what type of odds is that? Like, yeah, all three of these niggas gonna have three steals. Like, nigga, come on, yo. How many turnovers they expect, nigga, in a championship <laughs> game? Damn, that sucks. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a good time, people. Well, ho- well, I mean, hopefully the fandom will be uh, at some point allowed to. Not even DraftKings or anything like that. No, just just simple that. No, just the hard rock shit. Nothing. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Yeah, well, I can play fantasy. You know when you pick a player prop, nigga, I can do prize picks. <laughs> That's bullshit. Yo, that, that, that yo, that is some bullshit. Like I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like God damn. Well, I, at least mm-hmm. now, at least now, I, I, at least I won't. You know. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah, if I could, I guess if I have to put in the best for y'all or PS to do it, so be it. Because you know, yeah, can't be yeah. that. Yeah, that sounds like a straight up scam. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they cheating us. They just trying to get some extra bread. <laughs> for real. Oh man, but uh, yeah, I think did we touch about uh, Deontay Jones? Uh Deontay Jones, man, where the hell were you, man? We're about to wrap up. <laughs> You know, but we good, man. You know, Shuttleworth though, he's he's under the weather, so he couldn't join tonight or whatever. But we held it down though, as we usually do. And never mind what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you you just wait until sat until um, Sunday night. Like, 
Just make, just make sure you're on the cast on Monday night. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't 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 even worry about all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know the the Eagles will be all right. We're 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 getting into the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? We're ten and two. Like, we, we'll we'll get in, and we'll get in as number one seed too. So fuck the Niners too. Yeah, because you know they they because they took they take over. Yeah, the, the Niners came to y'all crib and mopped y'all the fuck up. You know, it, you know, like I say, it happens. You know, yeah. They, they call y'all, it, niggas, they, y'all niggas didn't even know how to tackle that day. Yeah, and why do you, why do you think I'm, I'm complaining about the fucking linebackers? Like, you know, there, there was there's a lot unacceptable. Motherfucker was doing some dink and dunk shit, and motherfucker deep nigga deep. threw a three yard pass that went for twenty eight. <laughs> yeah, like 28, 30 yards <laughs> and shit. Like that, that's unacceptable. Like that was highly unacceptable. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That- that Debo Samuel touchdown, they threw that nigga a pass at the one yard at the line of scrimmage. That nigga ran through everybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I was like, yeah, you know, them, yeah, there was a, like the motherfuckers was just having fun out there. Like I don't know what the fuck was going on. That shit was pissing me off so badly. Like Samuel going off like that, I was like, you just like, no, 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 not tackle for shit. And Brock Purdy's trash. Let's not forget it. That nigga's trash. Oh, he is trash. Yeah. But the but like I said though apparently like I said he has all the pieces to actually to game manage and he has offensive weapons between him and, and fucking McCaffrey going off like yeah this shit this that game that game was a nightmare to watch you know and yeah it, well, like I said you know the Eagles the Eagles needed that so you know we'll we'll, we'll write that wrong in fucking Arlington and- we did, we did this, Pat. I know the whole time you was like we came down before we will come back again. Nigga, I was in a sports bar watching that game. I, I was upset, <laughs> nigga. Like, I was fucking upset watching this shit. I was like, damn, I wish I was at home. But no, I was like, I, I was told to come out for the sports bar. Yeah, I, I, I regret all that. You know, but uh, yeah, I'm sure you enjoyed all of that, uh, Deontay. But like I said, though, you, your shit, you know, you, you're on Sunday night, though. You know, just make sure you uh, make sure out here on Monday. Cause you know, ain't, we're sweep, we're sweeping the Cowboys this season. Fuck the bullshit. Um, yes, Quan Chi. You know, finally, you know, when you're not trolling, you say some right, you say some rightful shit. You know, what I'm saying like, you know, Jalen Hurts best quarterback. Everything in Eagles is top quality. All Jalen Hurts do is scramble, but he's not fast. Now, now you co-sign, now you co-sign Quan Chi. <laughs> I mean. When, when you know when you when you're spitting, you're spitting, okay. I'm not gonna lie, Jalen Hurts looking at the MVP, but now it's like, damn, he fucked up. So it's like MVP might go. Really, it should be- I, honestly, if it were me, the MVP would because, but because it's, it's the Tyree. quarterback award, basically. Tyree. Yeah, Tyreek Tyree. Tyree. Hill. Tyreek Hill to me would be the MVP. It's Tyreek. He's, 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 he's on pace for he's on pace for two thousand yards. Like, it's Tyreek, but they're gonna, they're gonna give it to close your ears, Pat. They might give it to Dak because he's having a crazy. I'll experience. give it to McCaffrey. Cause he went over to that team and changed their life. I'm not gonna lie. McCaffrey has two touchdowns a per game. What I'm saying, they'll probably give him whether it's receiving or rushing, and he's averaging five yards a carry. Yeah, and he's a, he's a dual threat yeah. back. He's like a receiver out there. It's not even fair. Nigga, 130 yards from scrimmage every night. But like, you know he going. Right? You know he going up over 100 every night. It's probably Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill is Tyreek Hill is nothing. It's nothing but a go route, yo. He's not a fucking MVP. The nigga can't moss nobody. He's not a strong receiver. He can't body nobody else. Bro, bro, he's bro, not. Bro. He's not killing shit unless he's wide open, yo. He never yeah. catch over nobody. If you notice that, whenever he's covered, he don't catch it. That's he can only true. catch it when he's wide open, blown coverage, that's, nigga. That's, that's not an MVP. That's, no, that's completely false. That's like that's like that's like you giving a nigga an MVP for cherry picking and no, scoring buckets doing that. I can tell. I can tell you haven't really watched a lot of Dolphins games. Nigga, not watch the Dolphins. It's all they show down here, nigga. It's go routes. It's <laughs> wheel routes. All they need to do is go routes or wheel routes, nigga. That's not no fucking skill. You just run a straight line and get open, nigga. Just run as fast as you can. I'll throw it to you. <laughs> That's all the fuck they're saying to the nigga. He's not doing no crazy routes. No. He ain't mossing nobody. That's not true. Yeah, he's Come on, yo. And he gets open. And he gets open. And he's dominant. He's been dominant. Nigga, just because you're open, don't mean you did some crazy shit. If you see the whole play, all he's doing is running straight past the guy. He's not even doing a head fake, nothing. No receiver shit. He's just running. 
and it's been dominating and it's been working. So and it's actually kind of wild the way he does it because he just runs, runs like a fucking a gnat at a barbecue and then finds the ball somehow and just grabs it and keeps running. No, because he he's taking like you know five. No, because two is not accurate and he just throws it in the fucking air and and Tyree goes gets it. No, he's he's had good yards after catch as well too. So no, Tyreek has been balling. So he he's he's on pace for two thousand yards, and not many wide receivers have gotten two thousand yards in a year. He's Devin a, Hester. He, he's Devin a, Hester was Devin Hester had the same speed as that nigga. It's a quarterback war. It's a quarterback war. It's a quarterback war. Devin, Devin Hester was a punt returner. He was. Devin Hester was a receiver towards the end of his career, nigga. He was trash as a receiver. When he, was, when he was fast on them go outs, and that's what he did. He was getting on the field, on a go out, and do Tyreek Hill shit. But, and he got nowhere near the production that Tyreek <laughs> Yeah, he never had. Field. What are you talking about? Come on. Well, that's because he was a corner, nigga. He started, oh, the, oh, he started oh, in the corner oh, with the punt return. Oh, oh, <laughs> Come on, oh. Anyway. Yo, this nigga, yo, yo, this nigga Rome, yo, he's stupid, yo. <laughs> oh man, no, but uh, but yeah, no. Honestly, I know for the odds right now, I know Purdy is the betting favorite so far yeah, to win yeah. MVP. As a Rams yeah. fan, fuck them, fuck the Niners, fuck the Niners completely. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck the Niners, uh, absolutely. Yo. L- listen, hold on, hold on, and, and no, no wide receiver has ever uh, had two thousand yards in the season, so. He's been do- that dominant. Like, that's crazy. Come on. He, but he's going to get it, too. So, he has to be in consideration. He has to get 2,000. If he gets 2,000, yeah, he's, he, might, he might be it. For it. Yeah. I mean, 2,000 yards is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it shouldn't, definitely shouldn't be no damn Brock Purdy, though. But like I said, though, this is, you know, this, you know, you know, some things don't ever change. You know, quarterback and, you know, Brock Purdy's Lily White and, you know, shit like that. <laughs> no, yeah, you know, yeah, Brock, Brock, Brock Purdy has been good though. The numbers are there too, so I get it. I just feel like that McCaffrey is, is what. And then shout out real quick, Percy, Percy Harvin was bit. Percy Harvin was was cold as fuck at Florida. Way Florida. better than Devin Hester. Oh, yeah, yeah, Come on. Sure. All right, let, let's wrap this shit up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Word, word, word. All right, so uh, some final thoughts, Rome. Give your final final thoughts. Final thought, Sexy Red cleaned it up. You were tired of the hood rat shit, please. Bears, let's get a win this week. Bulls, after this fucking tournament's over, I need y'all niggas to make a trade and do some shit, nigga, because y'all niggas is fucking up. Kobe White, good shit, nigga. 22 a game. Kobe but we need some help. We're 3 and 1 without without Levine. We got traders there. Yeah, we need some help, though. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Word, word. Hey, Pilot, what about you? I don't got much. Shouts out to everybody. Um, we'll be back Monday. Enjoy the weekend. Uh, big fight. Big fight. Haney Progray. The build has been great. So, um, you know, check for that because we'll be talking about it for sure on Monday. But that's all I got. Ring your radio. Hey, it was fucking crazy that fucking Bill Haney called Progray a base. Smurf. Base Smurf. That's a, that's a classic. Yeah, and watch that on YouTube if you if you haven't. Watch that fucking. That's a, that was one of the best, fu- funniest. Uh, Press conferences in a long ass time to me. Yeah, they they they, they were all wilding out. Like, <laughs> yeah, shout shout out to coach man. You know, you know, again, you know, Kia, that motherfucker had came keeps the same energy. You know, you know, screaming at this nigga, screaming at fucking Bill Haney and shit like that. He was a fool. Uh, P, what about you? Your final thoughts? I ain't got much to say. Let's wrap this shit up. Uh, oh, Deontay, no, Aaron's not coming back, nor do I want him to come back. The season's done. We're not winning another game except for maybe the, the last game against the Patriots. I want us to go down in the rankings, get that third pick, get Marvin Harrison Jr. That's what I want. So <laughs> There you go. And uh, I don't have too much to say other than, you know, yeah, you know, uh, the Eagles. I just hope that they fucking win on Sunday because I, I want a, I want a clinch playoff spot because now we have like ten different scenarios for us to actually clinch a playoff spot. But the only common thing is we gotta beat Dallas. So you know that's you know that's one because uh, I can't go another week without putting up my obnoxious Instagram story of me and you know and you know the Eagles theme song from 1980. <laughs> you know when I talk you know when I, I gotta talk my shit. But uh, other than that, though, like it was, uh, you know, good. Uh, can't wait for this weekend of boxing. Like, you know, hey, you know, Haney program. You know, that's gonna be some dope shit. 
And uh, yeah, and shout out to having a day off tomorrow too. Thank God, <laughs> I need that. I need that in my life. Me too, nigga. Me too. Where, where? Everyone needs a day off. Everyone needs vacations too. I know I fucking need a vacation. But uh, yeah, shout out to the whole crew and hopefully Brother Shuttleworth. You know he's feeling better. You know from whatnot, and you know he'll join us uh, next Monday. Um, when, we, when we start uh, recapping shit, but um, yeah, no. Other than that, you know, you know what it is. You know, we have a web page, we have a YouTube channel. Listen, like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. We can all be friends. And I know you see that scrolling banner across your screen. If you want to donate to our PayPal, you know, we most appreciative. You know, because uh, we do this shit for y'all. So for myself, Pat Scorpio, the New England representer. For King P, Bodega P, for Conscious Pilot, for Rome Top 5. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So until next time, peace.